Hey guys, Barry here from TGS with another Cuphead DLC live stream. Today we're doing achievement hunting for two final achievements and we'll probably spend some time doing expert attempts. Whether I actually beat the entire game on expert or not, we'll find out, especially uh, based on viewership as well. But I yeah, stream number 24 overall, I believe this is the fourth stream I have for Cuphead DLC at this point. And uh, the only one planned for this week, so if I need to continue it, it'll probably continue during one of our flex spots or it'll continue next week. But, uh,. We have a Forza Horizon 5 DLC dropping tomorrow, Hot Wheels, so had to lock that in. And just to note, I did mute the uh, music in the background to turn it back on after the intro. I actually left the sound off for like 10 minutes in the last stream, so sorry about that. But today I'll do my best to remember and have a sticky note ready in my face here that should uh, remind me to not forget. But it's our weekly intro, so we got quite a few things to go over. So we'll hop in and, uh, you know, right after that. If you're looking for gameplay, look 5-10 minutes into the video, and you'll catch us getting into the gameplay, starting with the uh, Gauntlet, which will be the first achievement we're going to try to get to pop. I completed it like twice, but it didn't unlock, and I'm trying something different today to see uh, with a fresh load if we can get it to unlock properly. But there's only one way to find out, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go right down the list, and we'll go from there. So plan for the day for you know Cuphead DLC Stream 24 is we're going to be doing... 15 minutes late than I like to do, so 115 to 315, 345 to 545 with flexibility, you know, flexibility till six max, and that's it for today. Plan for the game: we are going for full completion. There are two achievements I need to get: a King's Admiration, defeat the King's Gauntlet. I've done this like at least twice on the last stream, but it didn't unlock, so we're gonna try again today. And Hardy, I've had nine HP at one time, many, many times, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it through the uh, Devil's Mission, you know, method, and uh, see if we can get to unlock there. Where we start, and we just uh, do some parrying, get the hearts on the board, and hopefully it'll unlock and not be bugged. So I would like to get full 1500. From there, the expert's optional, but I wouldn't mind having 100% or 106%, whatever the max is for this DLC written on my screen. So uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Not promising nothing, but uh, we'll see how today's stream goes, how these achievements go, how the expert attempts go, and we can kind of go from there. Like, sub, all links description, the gamers society.com, Discord. Razor Stores, I'm Razor Streamer. Rep Sports with the coupon code TGS 15% off. Check it all out. Also have a club on Xbox, the Gamer Society Fan Club. For our schedule for the week, obviously a couple of DLC today. Tomorrow we have Forza Horizon 5 Hot Wheels DLC, 1 to 530 with intermission. On Wednesday, CSGO 1245, Halo Infinite 330. Thursday, we're running Flex Spots, uh, 1 o'clock 330, Games TBD. We're waiting to see if Star Citizen gets an update. That's the primary decision. If not, we'll play something else. Friday, we got Hello Loose, Insurgency Sandstorm, Arc Survival Evolved. 1 o'clock, 3.45, 10.30 p.m. ET, and uh, Arc up till 3 in the morning with intermission. Saturday, just Flex Streams, 1.30, 4 o'clock, 10.30, 1 a.m. The only one I have locked in is Vanguard, Sheena, Numa, Zombies at 1.30. The rest is TBD. We're probably going to finish out the Easter Egg this weekend. And uh, the rest I'll leave open-ended. We can kind of decide and wing it as we go. Maybe do a GTA Online appearance as well, because that could be uh, another option for us, so... Just, uh, yeah, you get the idea. Haven't played GTA Online in forever. But yeah, I'm thinking of doing Vanguard full 1K gamer score, so that's something that I'll, I'll be addressing in the next few weeks. Uh, sun, but yeah, all the flex spots, 134 o'clock, 10.31 a.m. with Vanguard being the only one locked in at 1.30 Saturday, and then Sunday is Fable 2 around 1.30. That's it for the week. For our setup, we have Series X into Elgato HD 60S Plus Streamlabs, 1080p 60, 15 Mbps upload rate. Uh, for any weekly announcements, I'm trying to think real quick. From Cuphead DLC, I'm probably going to go ahead and go to Bioshock Remastered, but I haven't decided if I'm going to cut this off once we get the final two achievements today, or if I'm going to complete it on Expert at least, which might you know require another afternoon or two next week, but for now, I'm leaving it open-ended to see how today goes, and we'll kind of go from there. Partially, there's no excuse that I can't do all bosses on Expert, because I already completed one of them, plus get the two achievements to unlock in a four-hour plus intermission kind of stream, but let's not jinx it. I'm not going to wood now. We'll see how the cookie crumbles. But uh, we'll get our once a, was it once a month list back up and running probably in August. We're still waiting for that Star Citizen update, hence why Thursday's been a mess, and we're just doing flex spots. Saturdays was supposed to go to Forza Horizon 5, but uh, I run that with night, and unfortunately... It's not optimal, so we're going to try Tuesday starting this week to see if we just go back to our normal Tuesday slot that we used to do, especially because the DLC comes out tomorrow, so perfect time to uh, hold it, obviously. And that's pretty much it. Eventually, we'll probably lose our flex spots on Saturdays between the DLCs, trying to do Bioshock Remastered. You get the idea. 
a lot of things juggling on, but uh, yeah, this DLC is here for now. No idea what the final stream of this will be, but uh, it'd be nice to go out on Flat 25, but I'm not going to hold a stream just to hold one, so we'll see how the cookie crumbles go from there. I think that covers all the announcements. I went over the game plan for today, like specific as I can be. We're going to get the King's Gauntlet done if we can get it to unlock. I've already done it multiple times, but the achievement's buggy. It uh, still hasn't unlocked even though we did it on live stream, so I have proof, but uh, what can you do? And then we also have had 9 HP at one time many times that it hasn't unlocked. But I have two ideas for how to get these to unlock, so we're going to hop right into the King's Gauntlet. And if we fail, we're going to exit the map and just start over. And then uh, for Hardy, we're going to do it through the Devil's was it, Isle 3 mission where you have up to three extra hearts on the game board, and there's a bunch of mini-bosses there. So uh, that'll be that. A random chat this week, just trying to think, watching the show called Impractical Jokers Thursday. I'm going to watch the Bob's Burgers uh, movie on Friday. It's random as it is. I figured, why not? I think it's on HBO at Max. And then uh, Saturday, I'm starting Boardwalk Empire Season 4. So that's all I got for random chat. It's a pretty s typical week of just getting work done, streaming, and then waiting for the weekend to come, as we all do, so... It's not much else to it. That's our weekly intro done. A little bit quicker than normal. I'm going to turn the music on now so I don't forget. Alright, you guys should have music now. Just wanted, didn't want them singing the whole time while I'm doing this, but uh, we completed all the bosses on the DLC, including getting A rank on all of them. At least A minus, I should say. And uh, that's without using the genie's health boost. So I think with the genie health boost, I don't care for rank if I go for expert. I care for just beating the bosses so we can get 100%. So we'll look into that. I think you can get 106% on the DLC if you collect all the coins too and beat all the bosses on Expert if I'm not mistaken. But we'll find out together. I 200% of the main game. I, you know, part of me as a completionist, even though I ha I'll have all the gamer score much before that, I kind of want to do it. We'll, we'll figure it out one step at a time. I'm not going to promise nothing today. Let's just uh, wing it, see how it goes. But knowing me, knowing how I work, I'll probably want to do it. So uh, there's a chance we'll go through with it. But uh, yeah, pretty much covered the full intro. I'm just trying to think, plan for the day, plan for game, spiel, schedule, setup, announcements. Plan for today, even in more detail, a random chat discussion. It's as much of an intro as I can do, even with plus some, but it is our weekly intro, so a little bit longer than norm. Hence why I give that five to 10 minute warning that if you don't care for the intro, just skip forward. Or if it's live, yeah, just come back. <laughs> I started the weekly intro kind of thing based on fan feedback through the years, so every channel is different. I know plenty of people have short intros, long intros. Some people don't even do an intro, and some people, I'd swear their intro would be like 20 minutes long because they just hang out and chat with chat for a little bit, but I like to keep it under five minutes. The weekly can usually go five to ten with the extra info, but just taking a quick walk around the map for no reason at all. So let's see, going over this just to show it. I'm not going to show it again, but for, you know, World 1 through Finale, you can see I completed all 1k gamer score and got all the bosses done on Expert, plus A rank on all of them, so. See, my report card for the base game is pretty damn good. I'm no, you know, not one of those people who got S class on every single one and unlocked the secret gold cup or whatever it might be, but I did do everything pretty damn thoroughly. I just was not going to do it all again. And, uh, so here's the DLC status. We have A's at least on everything. We got the S Expert rank on Howling Aces already, so if we were going to go for Expert, we don't even have to get A class, or A grade, sorry, we can get anything we want. We just have to do Glumstone, Moonshine Mob, More Timer, Esther, and Chef Salt Baker on uh, Expert. And again, I can use the Genie, not care about my grade, and just focus on damage, and, you know, with an automatic fire weapon that shoots, you know, automatically, one of those two, like the Crack Shot, and I can kind of just focus on not getting hit and taking damage, and... Pretty much just focus on beating the boss. Doesn't matter if I have one HP and I get a uh, D rating. As long as you beat an expert, it should count towards the uh, percentage in the game on completion. So, been running spread and crack shot, but I also been running astral. We'll have to mess with that because I've been messing with the last stream. We were doing a bunch of different stuff, unlocking quite a few achievements. But if I want to start with the gauntlet, we got to go over here. Yeah, thanks to everyone tuning in. Shout out to Beyond Next Gen Gaming. I don't know if he's still there, but appreciate it. I set up a little bit early today, and I ended up running late anyway. We were uh, in the middle of booking a vacation. Long story short, they wanted me to do verif you know, verify this, verify that, blah, 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 whatever the hell it might have been. It took way too long, so uh, I think it's time to get into it. Hopefully everyone's having a good Monday so far. 
I haven't decided what kind of videos I'm going to release this weekend for our non-live content yet, but uh, we'll figure it out sooner or later. But yeah, there's not much else to go on. I'm doing a uh, beach vacation in the middle of August, and then I'm doing a uh, then I'm going to good old New York City in uh, probably September or so. So we'll see what happens. I already booked the vacations. Obviously, you can cancel them, but should be some nice trips. I'm going to bring... Uh, Bring my console and my PC when I go to the beach because we uh, rented a house at the beach. Might as well have it with me because I'll probably stream here and there whenever I can. But when I go to New York City, I might just take the uh, take you know, the three, four afternoons off from streaming. But we'll figure that out in a month or two. I haven't taken a vacation from streaming in you know multiple years now, so probably wouldn't be a bad thing. Let's go ahead and do the King's Leap. So I've already completed this multiple times and the achievement never unlocked, which is really infuriating. Like it's just, this, good, this DLC is so good, but then they effed up on the achievements. It's like, please, man. Can they ever just get a game right in this modern era of gaming from the start? That's my question. This game's great across the board. The bosses were fine, all that stuff. One of the better games I've played slash DLCs in the last like two years of releases, but they had to mess up the achievements, so. We have to do some dancing real quick, because that's the only reason we're here. So <laughs> let's go ahead and hop in. I forgot to change my shooting, but for this I don't need shooting, so it doesn't really matter. So this is my warm-up, guys. I haven't played Cuphead in like a week. Actually, I won't lie. I played it over the weekend. I wanted to see if I... What I did was I was testing if I hit Y on someone who doesn't have the parry, if I take damage. That's why I took damage there. So, never tried it, so I wanted to try it. Might as well get out of the way now. All right, so we're on fight number two of the gauntlet already. I did this on Saturday. I was actually trying to unlock this off stream on Saturday, I'm not going to lie, before uh, I did Vanguard. I got on and I ran it like twice, and I uh, made stupid-ass mistakes. So here I am doing it live, but I'd honestly rather do it live than not. It was some good practice, though. Except I'm still making dumb mistakes, apparently. But that's fine. As long as we keep our stay alive, that's all that matters. You do not need a specific set of health to get the gauntlet achieved. You just have to fight all five of these in a row. We're already done one. I think three... Three might be the one that worries me the most. I'm not gonna lie. Because that uh, floating bishop head is so annoying. It's so easy to get caught up and get hit by it. And the queen, the queen, I got to the queen and failed one time. And that was really uh, annoying. But like I said, I'm sure I already had this achievement already. So it's, been, it's known to be buggy. I've had some people say they have uh, beaten it like three, four, five times. Of course, what am I doing? All right, three, four, five times and like they'll finally unlock on like the fifth run. And they did nothing different for all the runs. So that's kind of what we're here to do today. Just keep running fresh attempts. I might fail a few times because we're just getting warmed up. I only play this once a week, so. I had one of my better uh, overall weeks of the year last week, so I'm pretty feeling some good vibes for this week's streams. We can 100% the achievements on this. Have a good time on Forza tomorrow for a brand new DLC. And then do good on our PvP games. It could be a pretty damn solid week. Especially if we do the Zombies Easter Egg, we almost beat it over the weekend. So I, I think we got it this week. And that's two down. Do a little dance. So three more bosses ago. This one, this one, definitely killed me a few times. I'm ultra focused, guys. So 
if you post in chat, please just note that I, I'll respond when I get to you. Ah, uh, I hit Y. Come on. Oh, God. No. No. I'm doing so well. Oh, my God. Did I really not get hit there? We had one HP. Whew. That was a pressure deck. Somehow that's like one of the toughest ones of these. This and like the queen. I got the uh, the third one down. Let's knock on wood now because this one took me so long because I was doing it as cuphead. And it was fucking torture when you're doing this as cuphead. But with this chalice here, it's, it's phenomenal. Because she's just perfect for this because the way she moves and stuff, other than bouncing into stuff right there. to focus on survival there for a sec. Luckily, uh, Electro Volts made me some tea. Unluckily, I haven't drank it yet. But I definitely need some energy boost. Slept like five hours Friday night after ARC. So we, I didn't go to bed till like four or something in the morning. We stayed on like almost five hours on ARC or something with the break, it was ridiculous. I was up at like before seven that day, so it was murder on my sleep, but at least I'm still doing all right in the game. It's not jinx it though. All right, there we go. Let me drink some of this because uh, I think we're on the final fight after this. Hopefully the achievement doesn't screw up. Knock on wood now because this is my first time beating this if we beat it. Let's not jinx it though. This match will get red hot. Come on, man. Shit. We're so close. Well, we got to exit the map and redo the entire thing from the beginning. The major downside to failing the gauntlet is you have to redo all the boss fights back to back to back to back. I was doing so well for my first run today, but of course, of course, I had to mess it up. Who's surprised? My warm, my quote unquote warm up of the day. So it was gonna happen. But shout out to Roblox and friends. I'm far from pro at the game. But I just proved it. I should have had that. A few more hits and we would have had it. But I uh, I got sloppy a few times when the uh, pieces were moving at me. So what can you do? Let's try again. Goals to not get frustrated. This game is meant to piss you off. It's literally what it's built on. Without a doubt.
no idea how many hits it takes to, to kill this dude. Though. Gotta be close. Because it takes more damage than like half the friggin' people in the gauntlet, I swear. He's one of the more tedious ones, because he just. How many hits it takes to knock him out? But there we go. sitting still that they can't hurt you. Yeah, whatever. I knew I knew I knew it was I knew it was ruined the second I made mistakes in the first like freaking part. Stupid mistake. But I was distracted for a second. So I made it to the queen. I failed because I uh I messed up on my parries like twice, which caused me to lose too much health. So I ended up fouling on that. Then our second run, I just fouled on the bishop, who's usually the one who pisses me off the most because uh, you get caught so easily in those bells and the head moving around. And here we are back starting over again, so let's just get it over with. I'm just going to keep doing the gauntlet until till we beat it and then a loss. It's as simple as that. It's going to be boring playing the same bosses over and over and over, but eventually, eventually, we'll hopefully get that run so we can move on to the next thing. Really? I hate when you click the buttons and they don't fucking respond. This game does have that. It's just, I guess, the old school vibe and controls, but it's hella annoying. I'm just gonna die, because, like, really. I press Y and I take damage, even though it's the button to parry. And I'm holding my analog stick directly where it needs to go. So it's just a, it's a headache, in a nutshell. I wanna go down and come back up just to be sure. I don't wanna waste my time beating this, because... It's already bugged, I should have got it already. Shouldn't even have to do this, but here we are having to do it again. Just, I, I just don't get how modern games don't know how to produce what they should on release, but even on DLC, it's taken four years, they mess up the achievements. So. Try again. I was almost not going to go for them until they do a patch, but uh, I did a lot of research online and saw that I should be able to get them to pop, so that's why we're here. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have been playing Bioshock Remastered right now. And again. That one, I'll, I was in the middle of a jump, so I can, I'll just see it as yeah, what was going to happen. Dude, he's right there, and I clicked Y! Come on, man. Thank you, Cuphead, for fuck's sake, man. This game and using the Y parry with Miss Chalice is just like a facepalm half the time. You hit the analog where you want it to go, you click Y, she'll just, like, stand there or some shit. I've noticed it during my entire DLC experience.
kind of like her parry more than Cuphead, but Cuphead's was more reliable. It might be for actually registering when I request it. Doesn't really matter. The sloppy run the first level doesn't mean we can't beat it now, so let's focus, get this shit done. If we get this done, we're moving on to the uh, dice boss again. To go for the 9 HP. The authentic way. I've heard a few ways to do it. We can use a genie and then just gain one heart and see if it unlocks, or we can start with without that, do the parrying and do the uh, hearts on the board and get it that way. So it'll probably take me a few attempts because I haven't done the dice boss in like four years. So I'm definitely going to need to uh, reacquaint myself. It's a good way to sum it up. After that, I'll start the expert boss run. But we're using Genie and not focusing on Great. Which means we're just going to beat Expert to beat it. Which can't be that hard. Especially with 9 HP and uh, having A ranked all of the bosses by now. Should be prepared enough. I'm probably going to ignore chat for the rest of uh, the gauntlet. I will catch up on chat after I fail or I win. But I have three more boss fights. Let me just get in my zone. We've already uh, failed like two attempts so far, stupidly. And then I quit the, fir the third attempt because uh, it had an ugly start, so I just didn't even bother to finish it. But here I go. going to get focused now, guys. Dude, I clicked the fucking button! <sighs> I just started and you're pissing me so fuck off, Cuphead. I clicked the button to jump and he didn't jump on the counter, so I got fucking cornered. All he had to do was jump up. All she had to do was jump up on the counter as I requested on my controller. Spent all get this fucking expensive ass elite controller, and I swear to god, it just half the time responds like trash. All it had to do was follow my commands and we would have succeeded, but here we go. I really enjoy this game, but the fact that I have to redo a fucking achievement that I should have gotten already multiple times and I'm doing it again today only because someone didn't test it properly is just adding to the aggravation factor. So both of these achievements should have unlocked if people knew what the fuck they were doing in the achievement coding at Cuphead. But apparently they don't know how to code these days. So we have to redo it in hopes that the buggy achievement will maybe unlock, which is even more going to be the piss off moment if it doesn't unlock. If it doesn't unlock, I might as well just get the fuck off today and uh, wait till they patch it. Go play something else. I've just lost my patience with this. We were coming back just for extra boss fights, it would have been a great day, but the fact we had to go for buggy achieves is a major middle finger to me. And then we're making dumb mistakes on something we've already beat multiple times. Let's go, man. Let's go, you a hole king. Hurry up. Standing up real quick to take a loosening up stretch because we're 30 minutes in, I shouldn't be raging pissed, but I full on blame the studio who didn't test the achievements. So, like I said, we would have unlocked these achievements last stream, guaranteed. Or during our general playthrough of the DLC, I'm only back doing this just because they didn't unlock so. But now my first rendezvous as an achievement hunter with shitty achievements. I'm at 199.4k, and I can promise you there are quite a few buggy achievements that, you know, including in the GTA trilogy, that uh, 
would really piss you off. Like the 100% Vice City achievement didn't unlock when I hit 100%. And we had to uh, replay a mission that was buggy because it didn't register. Thankfully, people had the solution online. For this, a lot of people complain these achievements are not registering, so... I'm gonna get ultra focused, no chat responses till after I'm done the entire gauntlet. Or I fail it. One of the two. We've already got to the end once, we made it to the queen, and then I stupidly made a mistake. And didn't watch my health and didn't parry correctly, so long story short, that's what caused me to fail. But we've proven I can beat it more than once last stream. Let's just get it over with and hopes the achievement unlocks. It's really the bishop and the queen that are my, my threats. The other three are not really a threat. As long as you don't make dumb decisions, like I do sometimes. You're good. Let's keep going. If I can A rank the entire game and get an S rank on an expert, I totally can uh, do this. No, ex no squeezes. <laughs> Come on, Miss Chalice. I want to I wanna fix our, mend our relationship. You pissed me off with those parry responses, and I, bl I still blame that for why we failed some of the runs, but I, I can work with you. Work this out. Just don't mess up any more parries today. <laughs> I do for you over here, you know, it's not a very tough fight, so I trust in you, Miss Chalice. The bishop's who I worry about. So he always corners me in towards the end. You just get cornered so easily. Like the bishop shooting fucking jingle bells at you or something. <laughs> Which is pretty random, by the way. Start dancing. Come on. This dude takes so much damage for being such a shithead. AKA shithead. Make the TH mesh. Let's not stand there. Wonder why we get hit. Alright, bud. I think it's time for you to just not even finish the fight. You should just give up. Just surrender, bro. And then, of course, of course, I make a mistake. That was, watch that have been the last hit I needed to. It was way too close, and I decided to jump. It was, <laughs> it was the last hit I needed. Everybody dance now. Here we go. Deep breath. I failed this twice so far today. And I've beaten it. I beat, as I mentioned before, on, on live stream we beat the entire gauntlet multiple times. The achievement's just buggy as hell, so the only reason I'm back doing it again. Just trying to avoid getting hit by jingle balls. <laughs> jingle bell. Jingle bells, Batman swing. Top head laid an egg. God. Good. No, no, no. Oh my god. Two HP. Oh, please don't fucking fail again, I swear to god. This is the second time I make it to there and I double click A, which is supposed to be supposedly a double jump, but Miss Chalice never makes the leap onto the table, so we fall down and we get stuck. I don't know why the fuck this is happening, because I've already beaten this multiple times, but I swear to god because I came back today to do an achievement run. I'm just fucking up. But thanks to anyone tuning in for my, uh, my failed attempts here. It's getting aggravating, because I already beat this and should have got the achievements. Come on, studio. You don't need to follow, you know, 
Call of Duty and all these other games into their failed releases with your... The DLC is phenomenal, minus the achievement bugs, so I gotta give them two on that. Ah, the fucking bishop, man. It's the bishop and the queen that ruin my run every time, but you have to beat all five consecutively. We, we had it too, we were on the final wave. Which is even more infuriating. We just needed to hit him one more time. Just like the Britney song. I don't care if I get hit at this point, I just want to get the final guy. There we go. Appreciate the four likes. But yeah, we're working on, we're trying to get a uh, run of this done, then I'm gonna go for the nine HP achievement, and then I'm gonna try some expert levels, if we ever get to it. Because obviously I'm failing on this. Gotta shift that, uh, Gotta be ultra focused on that part or you fail. Welcome to chat. I'll give shout outs and respond uh, after the, the boss fights because I can't risk it. Already making too many mistakes today compared to our normal cuphead sessions. mixture of a uh, lack of sleep over the last few days on top of uh, having to come back for achievements I should have unlocked. Being tired plus having uh, something that you should have gotten done as your goal is definitely not optimal. But we're doing alright. Just gotta beat it. If the achievement doesn't unlock we're just gonna move on to the 9 HP one and I'll have to wait until they patch it. This will be like my third time doing the gauntlet once we beat it. This last stream, I finished out all the A ranks, and then we ran the gauntlet, and I'm, I swear I beat it twice, full on out, the entire gauntlet, on stream, and uh, we got no achievements, so. We've had 9 HP multiple times, and it never gave me that either, so I'm kind of skeptical if that'll work as well. I right, got them. Back at the guy who's pooned me twice now, at least. Time to get ultra focused. Let's do it. Good day, Horace. Well done. Now go. Of course. I know where to go. This guy is going to be like the ruiner of my day. Hey, like, come on, man. How am I going to foul the bishop like three times now? Ah, this is not how today was planned to go. At all. Because the achievement's buggy as hell, hence why I'm redoing it. I got to do this entire sequence every time in hopes that it'll still work. Like I said, if I beat it and the achievement doesn't unlock, uh, I'm not even going to try again. I'll just have to wait for a patch. Hopefully they patch it. Good day for well Torturing myself for the possibility of getting achievement, just making this so much more frustrating than it should be. So overall, it's a really good DLC. Factor one, I clicked Y there by the way. The parry, but I don't know if my controller's just going to shit or this game doesn't like to respond to control. One of the two. I just die. I, I don't care. Oops, I don't mean the quick game. I should. Just time. I'm getting off. <laughs> this studio right here. You let me down, man. Let's go back in. Shout out to a friend of Fantasy Adelaide and uh, Pimpa. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, man. I know every time I get on this game, it's going to have its piss-off moments because it's Cuphead, but... It really, it really didn't register, even though they were right next to each other. Really, Cuphead? You're going to take damage from a parry when I'm parry? That's why this game's out to get me today. Gotta be like the easiest fight. The first one, it's easy to take damage, but it's not hard. It's easy to win. All right. I'm gonna start wondering why the hell I got on Cuphead today. If I keep playing like this, should have played this a different day. Just making way too many mistakes. That's definitely getting to me. My frustration levels at like peak, which usually happens with buggy shit. Hence why I'm. The old buggy achieves, but regardless. This game just self inspires frustration, and it, it's just general. The fact that it was even created is just for frustration, I swear. But it's a great game. Not many games I'll say that piss me off, and I enjoy them. But Cuphead's on that list. Plenty of games that piss you off, and you don't enjoy them. But you'll do it for the achievement or this or that. It's more for the challenge than it is for the fun. This game's fun and challenging, so it's two-way street. Feel free to post in chat, I'll respond either after I die or after I succeed. As in, not just this fight, but the entire gauntlet. So I'm gonna try and get ultra focused here so we can get this done and move on in our lives. Bishop, who's screwed me over three times. Let's see what happens. Of course, right at the end is when I started making the dumb mistakes, like right at the end. We had we lost like, what, 2 HP right at the end? Uh, we broke the curse again, stuck at the bishop. Here we go. Sometimes when you're lucky, you get a bunch of them in a row like that. You can really lay the damage down early on. I think we already made it to the final stage of the fight. 
technicality. One more hit or two more hits, and that's it. Ah! Yes! Made a dumb mistake and bumped into him, but I got it. All right, we're on the queen again. I made it to the queen on like our first or second attempt today. I already beat this, but the achievement's buggy and didn't unlock the whole reason I'm here, for those who might not have known. I beat the entire DLC with A rank, so. I'm just here to literally get achievements that were don't unlock properly. I have no other reason to be here, so. to be fucking kidding me. The, the, the most frustrating part is that I've already beaten this and I am doing this because some a-hole at the studio who made the game didn't fucking do their job. So we have to replay this because the achievement didn't unlock when I beat this last stream multiple times. So I think that's what's pissing me off to the even more of the point is that I know I can beat this but we make really stupid mistakes consistently today. Is infuriating because I've beaten this entire fucking game. Why are we failing on the gauntlet? I want to take this king and smash his fucking head in. It's ridiculous. Uh, just gonna take a breather and check chat real quick. Shout out to somebody who animates. What is up? And congrats on your first beat to Parker. And the answer is Ardage. I'm done everything pretty much for anyone who might not know. I know. A lot of people probably just tuning in. I've done the entire DLC minus two achievements, which, again, are bugged and should have unlocked during my playthrough already. I've already had 9 HP multiple times, and I've already defeated the King's Gauntlet more than once. And the whole reason of this stream was to try to unlock these again, but apparently it's been 50 minutes, and I'm, I keep failing the King's Gauntlet. I don't know how, I don't know why, I'm just making bad mistakes, and it, I'm already just frustrated, so it's not helping. Bad combo. It's going to take a second here and then uh, try again. Alright, let's try again. Bishop and the Queen are the two that have uh, been my biggest problem today. I've died at the Bishop like three times and at the Queen twice now, but I beat all these on the base game playthrough and I've already defeated the Gauntlet already, like two times at least. But again, that was last week's stream. Should I, I should take that out of the stream and send it in the Cuphead studio and be like, why the hell did I get my achievement, man? I feel like it can't be hard to code achievements. There's ones and zeros. You completed it, triggers to a one. Whatever. Let's not get into it. Cuphead's like one of the better DLCs games I've released without problems in the last few years. It has problems, but it's it's on the higher up on the list. It might even the, be the best one. So I've played a lot of games on this channel from Valhalla to COD to everything. And there was pretty much nothing flawless, or as should be in the last few years on release. I 
didn't have any bugs with the main experience, more so with the achievements triggering. So, could be worse, best way to sum it up. But for achievement hunters like me, it's, uh, it's hell annoying. I don't want to put this game on the list with Far Cry 5 and uh, Mafia 3 for failing to give me my full completion when I did it. Don't do a Cuphead. A small list of games that wouldn't give me my achievements that I deserve. Thankfully the DLC is new, so they're probably going to patch it unlike some of the older games that are broken these days. But. Jinx it, this, I'm feeling my best right now. I'll catch up on chat either if I fail or if I beat the gauntlet. No uh, in between on bosses here. There we go. Okay, shout out to Ariane break my rule right there and shout to Cashel. Yeah, good luck with Se Chef Salt Baker. This get You'll get it, don't worry. It just you got just run it, run it, run it. You don't play Cuphead with the mindset of uh that's gonna be easy. You gotta play this game with the mindset that you're gonna fail and you need to learn from failure and how to succeed. Which is a story of life in a nutshell I guess so it's not the worst uh, life lesson. I swear to gosh I should have got damage right there twice. for a second there that was intense i was so afraid to get cornered or bumped without getting the parry in. i was so that that thought that boss is tougher than the queen in my view that'll make your heart skip a beat man thankfully it did <laughs> shoulda woulda coulda i definitely feel my heart rate going up i have a smart watch on but i'm like checking to see where it's at this is one game that if you have a uh, like heart rate monitor hooked for your stream, this is a game to put it on. This shit will raise your heart rate off, yeah. off the roof, per se. I'm just trying to play safe right now, guys. I just want to get resituated. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Here we go. There we go. Just wanted to find one that was in a curvature I liked. We hit one more or two more, and that's it for this. Yeah, this one I'm not worried about. We're on to the final one again. Let's keep this vibe going. All right, the queen screwed me over twice near the final stage, so this is it. Watch the achievement not even unlock to probably jinxing it by saying that, but it's probably not far from true. Question is, the team is bugged, so will it even unlock? After all that, watch it not even unlock, because I'm not getting a pop up. Uh, 
It says to, uh, it's known to be buggy. So just wait. There it is. Thank God. So the buggy achievement that I've completed twice and never unlocked on stream finally locks on like the third time we beat it. I don't know what was the difference each run, but I came here. I started the King's Gauntlet from scratch. I beat it at least twice last stream, if I'm not mistaken. The full out mode, just like we did today. And the achievement never unlocked. But maybe I had to stay here. I always rushed and went down this ladder here. Maybe I had to stay here. So there's only one more achievement for me in this entire game, and then it's off to the expert runs. And I'm, uh, so everyone knows I'm doing two hours, half hour break, and another two hours to two hours 15. So later today, I got to uh, do some work and try and get in some exercise, which after playing Cuphead is definitely going to be needed. Today's the day to get those weights going, thinking of my Cuphead session, because this game, I'm having a great time, but it, it pisses you the F off. There's no other way to explain what happened. I've also completed all boss, so if we're going for expert today, which we probably will have time, I only have to do Glumstone, Moonshine, Freeze, Esther, and Salt Baker. But we're not going to go for rank, we're just going to go for, you know, Genie, get max you know, HP, go in, and see what happens. For the next achievement though, we got to go back to uh, the dice boss, who I haven't played in like four years, so I'm probably not going to do well on it. Appreciate the answer, chat. Appreciate it. Definitely appreciate all the views and the likes. I think I scared off of quite a few people earlier because I uh, had a few rage moments. Little little mini rants here and there, getting frustrated, but... I know I'm not the only one getting frustrated on Cuphead. <laughs> I can guarantee that, but... Yeah, we're one achievement away from having full completion of this game. This will go on my list. Uh, this will put me over to 199,500 one gamer score. I'm trying to go for 200,000 flat. I think some of my more popular random videos that are not live or something are my uh, my gamer score related discussions. If I'm, I'm gonna try and make a video discussing 200,000 flat, but I have to find a game that has an achievement that's either a four or a nine, which is really stupid. I don't know what game ruined my flat five or zero number to make it easy, but one of these a-hole games I played decided to have like a one gamer score achievement or something. So I'm gonna try. There's some websites you can search for achievements by a gamer score, so I'll probably have to do that. Pretty soon, because we're 524 gamer score away from 200k on the dot, so which would be pretty damn awesome. I never knew when I would see the day, but it's almost here. So uh, if we're gonna go for nine, what do I want to use? Let's unequip it. Can we unequip it? Yeah. Right. Crack shot. I really like spread. Invincibility is probably the best option for this because if I'm risking taking damage and I have my super, I can avoid it. So I've heard a few ways to do this. I heard you can go in like I am now and you can get the three parries. And uh, once you do, you'll you know, get the achieve. But hold on, there's actually, I heard, which one? Not lava, not charge. Which is the one that gives you the, you can spit out a uh, parryable object, because that'll also increase our odds of getting this done successfully, but I don't remember. Is it crack shot? So the other way to do this is also, I heard that you can just get like, uh, you can go and using the genie, but the genie method's quote unquote possibly iffy. Let's just try it. I've had 9 HP on Cuphead multiple times and it never triggered, so this achievement's definitely, uh, it literally just says, have 9 HP at one time, and if you use Miss Chalice with the, ge the uh, Genie, well actually use Cuphead with the Genie, you get 9 HP, right? So, I don't know why the hell this achievement, like, I think they want you to earn it, so. We're gonna try the way that I read online. Use the Genie, don't take any damage, and just get the first heart or whatever. And technically it could unlock, and if not, we'll just, uh, We'll have to go defeat a boss to lose our genie ability real quick, and then what we'll do is come back and try and do it the other way. But no, I haven't played King Dice in like four years, so I'm most likely going to fail a bunch of times trying to get this achievement, but... 
So we need a one. Oh god. Restart. That's how you know I haven't played this in that long, but. Everyone says it's the best way to get the achieve. I kinda want it to be the heart to be on three. There we go. Three and four. When I watched a video on this, that's where they were. Got three. We have to basically do this without taking damage. If we take damage, we probably can continue on. Oh god, it's this dude. I forgot. I don't know what happens here. It's been too long. No! Oh, there goes our first damage. I'm gonna keep going though. Never mind. Maybe we should keep going. All right. <laughs> I haven't played this in so long. I don't remember half the boss fights. I don't know what the f they want from me, but whatever. We're just gonna keep trying till we get it. There we go. Three and four again. Does it change? Are each of these bosses a specific boss? I forget. Or they change each time. I'm being extra sloppy. Just bear with me. I would never have come back to King Dice. I'm only back here because the achievement seems, from what everyone says, to be easiest to get here. But here I am missing my entire parry option. I believe this dice counts as a parry. Man. Oh my god. Oh my god! <sighs> Just messing up every time. There we go. Is it going to be that smoke dude again? It's been so long since I've done these, I just don't remember. Yep, it is. So I think two is the one we want. And we got hit by it, of course. Alright, we're, we're doing terrible on this. I've just been playing as Miss Chalice, so now I'm switching back to Cuphead on top of playing something I haven't played in four F and years. But I really want this achievement. We just need to hit 9 HP. If we can get, like, four parries in a row. Oh, God. I don't remember this at all. Oh, God. Yep. All right, so what we want to do is we want to get number two, I think. Number two is the easiest one. There it is. It's set up for me as well. I I'm not trying to relearn all the bosses for one achievement. We've already done this. I already beat this on Expert back in four years ago when we streamed it when it came out, so. All right, this guy should be easier to avoid getting hit on, unless I stupidly take damage. I gotta I got remember, he does not, he does not double jump like Miss Chalice. That's something that'll get me damaged if I don't pay attention. And of course, I'm just gonna keep going. I guess to get ahead his actual face. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, it counts as a parry. It gave me HP. So that so that just proves I have the right class to get that extra parry. We can get two more HP by parrying. And one up to one or two through the board, but we're probably not gonna get it on this run. But for practice sake. Save. Then we need three. I'm just gonna retry. We 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 most likely ruined the run. Why is my HP back at three? Ah, oh, it's because you it was the map. Because apparently so there's multiple ways to do this. I was trying to use the genie method, but the genie method isn't guaranteed to work. Yeah, first, third, and sixth parry is three HP. I'm gonna do this the uh, genie way that I read online again, just to see. It's easier to hit nine with this. Answer chat. Let's see. I've been answering chat all along, just not gonna answer chat while in the middle of boss fights, so yeah, it should be clear. Shout out to Aya and chat. Shout out to Obnoxious. Raphael. 
Hey, thanks for watching live. We're, uh, just for anyone who's just tuning in, I'm trying to get this final achievement, Hardy, which is a major pain in the A because I had to come back to a game. I had, you know, not a game, but a, uh, I haven't done these boss fights. Let's just see real quick. I can actually find out right now. We've done all the achievements recently. The last time I played this game for achievement was 2018 in February, which is over four years ago. Right, you know, game on expert, blah, blah, blah. So it's been too long, but I'm going to keep trying. I don't like the numbers. We want two. Or do we want one? I forget. Let's find out. Shout out to Neighbor YouTube Studios. Appreciate it. Yeah, back in the day, I could do this pretty easily, but I'm talking four years ago. Uh, why did I? Oh my god, just, just restart. I didn't mean to stand up. It's completely accidental. Retry till we get the hearts on some better numbers. There we go. Appreciate the 12 likes. Thanks anyone watching live, posting chat for shout out, channel discussion. But do note, the minimum of a boss fight, I will not respond. I think for obvious reasons, but I don't know if everyone understands that. Because I learned through streaming through the years. You'll be driving like 250 in Forza, and someone will be like raging at chat because you didn't respond. Been there, done that. But appreciate everyone who's hanging out. Everyone's having a good Monday so far. mistaken we can parry two objects without doing anything just to get the HP three well, we got the heart but my HP changed because uh, we had the genie uh, I remember this one but I don't remember it enough so hopefully I do all right damage at the end of the fight. I took damage and got a knockout one second later. You gotta be joking. If we didn't take that damage, I would have had the, the 9 HP achievement. That's what I get for not doing this in four years. I'm probably, I'm going to take damage here. We might as well just restart. I'm 99% sure because I don't remember this. Yep. All right, I'm just going to restart. I'm pretty sure the achievement didn't unlock. Shout out to Armad J Smoke and Chat. What is up, man? Ah, we got so close. That if I didn't take that one damage at the end, at the end when the boss was getting killed, we probably would have got the achievement. But of, of course, it's just one of those days where everything that can go wrong in your achievement hunt goes wrong. So we spent like an hour on something that I've beaten before, but we got the achievement, so at least we got that going for us. But 
really want to get this 9 HP done by the 2 hour mark when I take my intermission break. Because then I got another 2 hours a day, but I'd rather focus that on the expert. So we only got to do 5 bosses on expert, so... Excuse, I got some uh, hiccups or something right now. So you don't need 9 HP on your screen for it to pop. As long as you start with 9 HP, you should be fine. They rolled on a heart, then they rolled on the second heart, then it popped while they had 5 HP loading into the second one. So I guess we could try again. To answer J Smoke, uh, both achievements were glitched, man. I think you just tuned in right, so you haven't been here, but uh, I got the King's Gauntlet achievement done today, which I beat last time. I, I don't know if you were here for that. I remember you might have been, but I beat this like twice last stream, as in last Tuesday, and it didn't unlock, so I finally got it to unlock today. I don't know what I did different. We did the same thing. We just played through the gauntlet and beat all five bosses back to back to back. But it unlocked today finally. I read online a lot of people complain it's buggy and takes multiple attempts to get it to unlock. And then uh, for 9 HP, t in technicality, I've had 9 HP like 20 times in my playthrough. But the game doesn't recognize it, I guess because you start with 9 HP using the genie. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. I think my goal is going to be to get the certain bosses that I can guarantee that I can learn to beat. And as long as we get them each time, we should be able to get this done by just, you know, not having to learn new bosses each time we do it. It's going to help us. So I found I'm using true achievements right now. And they, they, sorry, they say to do the genie trick. Do that now. Then equip the twin hearts charm, which I'm pretty sure we already have. I oh, know. We got we had the heart ring. I'm just going to follow what this guy says online. Then uh, it's by Flawless Victory, just for a shout out in case it were. When you go in the King's Dice, you already have 9 HP, although the achievement will not pop until you roll two hearts in the dice game. So our goal is going to be to roll two dices in the hearts. We're going to try and get him on two, and I think it was four, right? Two and four is where we want him to be. So I, I learned those bosses. I should be able to get him. Actually, we don't need to worry about five. It says when you get the second heart, it should unlock. It should is a keyword. I fucked up. We're getting the wrong boss. Retry. Two is like the easiest of the first three bosses, so I want the first heart on two. The second heart, we don't have to worry about. As long as we beat the first boss without taking damage, get the heart, we land on the safe, and we land on the heart, the achievements are. So, according to the guide, there's no guarantee the guide's correct, but... If we pop the achievement, I'll start the expert runs. If I mess up, we'll just restart right away and just keep trying until we get it. As someone who's 1k the base game, it's all about just trying again, trying again. Some bosses would take me, you know, a full two hour stream to learn and beat. Some bosses could take, you know, 20 minutes. It all depends on the difficulty factor. That's why I like this guy. He's, the other ones are a little bit tougher to learn, but they're not, they're, they're not impossible. Considering I beat everything else in the game. Oh yeah, there we go. It's all about getting the spins right. I'm gonna be ultra focused. I'll catch up on chat after this, whether I mess it up or not. I'll I'll check chat before the next run. I know one person got upset because I didn't check chat for like a minute. Balls in the middle of boss fight, so it's not that I don't care. It's the fact that I'm in the middle of boss fight. <laughs> no, no, no! We were so close. That was the achievement, and it's this fucker. I'm probably gonna take damage. I'm gonna try to get the second heart no matter what. I didn't even care at this point. I, 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 I fucked it up by getting the wrong boss. It's, it's, it's over. So I, I haven't played this boss in four years. I'm not going to be able to just beat him. I'm, I'm, so, I'm still going to go for the second heart. So we just stay alive. That'd be nice, but we're probably not going to at this rate. Yes. It's not, I don't even care. Just retry. The fact I missed, on the easiest part, picking the dice number was a red flag in itself. That that run was going in the shithole. So, 
We're gonna exit the map and start it over again. Today's just like a day of me making really dumb mistakes and it's pissed me off more than I've been pissed off playing a game in like the last like year. I swear. The only other game that pissed me off recently was when we were doing Caves and Ark and we went into that fucking lava cave where bats were more dangerous than T-Rex. Because game logic. Fucking bat would kill you in like two bites. T-Rex you could survive. <laughs> That's Ark Survival of Alfred though. sick and late. So it's all about getting the timing right. It's all it comes down to. Yeah, th thanks to uh, neighbor YouTube Studios for hanging out as well. Let me get this back aligned. Uh, we don't want three. We're going to get the nine HP achievement like I read online. If I can get if I can fight two without taking damage and have the heart on two, land on the safe and then land on the second heart without... So I only have one risk of taking damage, which would be the easiest of the first three bosses, which is this number two up here that I can't really point at. And then uh, if we could do that and get the second heart, so basically three correct dice spins and one mini boss fight, and the achievement should be mine according to guides online. So I don't care what the second heart is, I care where the first heart is. So we need the first heart on two. I remember when I beat this back four years ago, we we, were, we went for like two, like six and eight or something, I don't remember. It's good enough for me. Oh God, I bounced away the second I realized, so... Right after a three, I fucked up. Went too early. Too early. Bear with me, I'm no, I'm no pro Cuphead player. I started playing this when it you know, released, but I haven't played it in four years, especially this base game stuff. We did come to the base game though, we had to uh, do that one achievement where we had like one HP and we didn't get to select our weapons for the uh, whatever it was. What was that achievement called? I just don't want to sound stupid talking about it. It was the Paladin, obtain great power, right? Where you have to be like eight bosses with one HP and your gun not being selection. Thankfully, you could do it in co op, so that's what I did. Yeah, this guy legit says start with nine HP. And you don't need to hit nine HP again, you just need to get the two hearts without taking damage. And that's how I unlocked for them, so that's what we're trying. Probably should start shooting. <laughs> so focus on not getting hit. Think about it. Just get a one. In technicality, this person online on True Achievement said that's so all I need to do to get this achievement. No, are you fucking kidding me, dude? That's the second time I've done this. The second time I'm off by like a millisecond. We might as well quit because we're not going to survive this without taking damage. We're going to just have to redo it again. And again. And again. And again. And again. <laughs> Seriously, man. I can... I'm just getting just so pissed off at myself today because I'm making the dumbest fucking mistakes the entire time. The entire time. The King's Gauntlet was just me repeating something I've already beat, but the achievement never unlocked because it's buggy. For those who don't know, there are buggy achieves in this game, so it's not a perfect release, but it's mostly a perfect release because all the boss fights and stuff work great. It's the achievements that are buggy. And I had to redo the gauntlet like three times before it gave me the achievement, but today I spent like an hour to beat it once because I just kept making really stupid mistakes. And then I never played King Dice in four years, so I had to relearn this, but I feel like we got it. We just, it's literally a dot, just a mistake on the die. That's all it comes down to, which is really stupid, to be realistic. But as an achievement hunter, I've seen it all. 
It's not my first rendezvous with achievement that I'm so close to getting and make really dumb mistakes to get, so let's just keep trying. That's all it's gonna take. I gotta, I gotta figure out this timing. We gotta like figure out, I'm about to just do some practice tests right here. So pretend I want a two on the spin. So I should be jumping, close, I'm gonna test it again. When the one is there, I should be jumping. And then I should be clicking A right after the one. Actually, it's spinning the other way now. Okay, so that's what's throwing, that might be throwing me off a little bit. Is that it spins the different ways. So it goes off a of three now. Yeah. See, there we go. But it's so, it's so sketchy. If you hit that point one seconds too early or too late, it can easily not be what you want. Yeah, too early. So my, my timing is what's what's screwing me over on this. It's all about my timing. It's all it comes down to. Three anyway, and we want two. Thanks for those who don't know, you can change where the hearts lie in based on retry. I learned this way back in the day. And it really helps because you can pick out which bosses you gotta fight. Back in the day, I don't think I messed up any of the any of the stuff on my you know, run. I saved all my health for the end, and we would go into the end with like 7 HP or whatever it was back then, whatever the max was. My god, it, just, it showed the two, and I, of course I, I miss it. Thankfully it's two again. I really gotta work on this timing because this is what's ruining my runs. So there we go. All we have to do is beat this boss, land on safe, and land on four. <laughs> ah. I, I'm beating myself up to answer Jay Smoke and Chat. I got him, man. I'm making bad, like, really stupid mistakes. I beat the entire game for 200%, meaning I beat it all on expert, got A on everything and all that stuff, passive on all the non levels. And then, I, of course, I'm messing it up. There we go. Uh, that's exactly what I'm talking about, man. I'm making really stupid mistakes today. It's just getting infuriating. Stuff that should not be happening is sums up my day so far. Thankfully, I'm playing all afternoon, so I get the first two hours to achievements and the second two to doing the expert boss, you know, attempts on the DLC. Obviously, I already experted the entire base game. But I think if I expert all the boss fights and make sure I get all the coins. On the DLC, we should have 100% instead of whatever we have now, 57 or whatever. Just beating it and getting A rank on them all and beating one on Expert only gets you like 57%. All right, come on, man. I don't want three. I, I want two. Two. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to nothing here in chat. I'm just going to try my best to keep up with you guys. This game really doesn't want me to get two, does it? All I want is... One heart to be on number two, that's it. The rest can be wherever they want to be. All right, King Dice, let me have this one right here, man. All right, this one, this one. I don't have to relearn the other bosses to get this achievement. But I'm already missing the dice half the time, so the least we could do is uh, try to get this correct. All right, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna rechat for a bit. Let me just ultra focus. This is like a third attempt. If we beat this boss and we get two dice spins correct, we get the achievement. At least according to the online guide, like I said. So it's not guaranteed, but they said it worked. So I'm gonna try. But I think the only boss I know well in the second. Oh my God. The second set is active. I I'll be all right. We can parry for HP. I just need to beat this without taking more damage. I have two car. Every card I get, I can uh, put out a shot that'll let me parry it, so I can get my uh, HP back. That's not a problem. Actually, I wonder if we can do it now. See, so it reset my HP from eight to five after I beat it, but it says online we shouldn't have to get to nine. I'm gonna do this to see if we can get an HP out of parry. Oh no, we did the twin heart. Fuck. So I don't know. Let's just do the spins anyway. But I don't know. We might be screwed. I need a two or a three. 
90 to 1. I have a feeling we're going to be redoing this. Maybe if I didn't. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Pausing real quick because I want to show it. Nice work. You've clocked all the achievements for this game. There we go. So I wasn't wrong. The guide was correct. That was the way. Get two of the hearts, start with nine HP, and it unlocks. So today we got the nine HP achievement and the King's Gauntlet officially completing 100% of the achievements for this game. The one was it? the 12th was the last time I unlocked a bunch of achievements. The 11th and the 5th, apparently. So. I guess we can... I don't really plan to relearn this entire boss fight to beat it again, but oh God, missing parries apparently. But we're already here. Might as well just play until we die, and then we'll go over to the expert boss fights. We haven't played this uh, in four years, the base game, so just bear with me. Except for Isle One, I take it back. I did uh, some Isle One, maybe Isle Two stuff when I had to defeat eight, what was it ten bosses with Miss Chalice? I uh, went on simple mode because you can. I just did it the easy way. This guy. This is the guy you want. You want two and you want four. I do not remember any of the rest of the bosses. So if we can get three, two, two, and two or something, I think we'd be set. I don't know what boss eight is, but I'm just going to keep it going. I appreciate it. Let me just catch up on chat real quick. Shout out to Tangerine. What is up? Thank you for the good luck. Greatly appreciate all the views. This is definitely uh, one of our busiest streams in a long time. I'm a small channel. We got like, what, 2.9K subs, so slow growth, but uh, that's just the way it goes. I play a lot of different games on this channel. Cuphead, starting Forza Horizon 5 DLC tomorrow. The Hot Wheels DLC, by the way. Run shooter games like Halo, Surge's Sandstorm. Bunch of stuff like that. Somewhat remember this fight. Now we, now we know, so if you ever play this, <laughs> two, four, and eight. Just take two, multiply by two, then multiply by four by two. It's just a multiply by two strategy. Two, four, eight. Now we need a two and a two. If we don't get it, I'm gonna go start the expert boss fights on the DLC, but. Save. Greatly appreciate it, guys, by the way. Notice we have a lot of people watching, uh, posting chat for shout out, on discussion. I'll do my best to keep up with you guys. There it is. God, I don't, I, I, I remember this, but it's been too long. It's gone visible. We're not gonna get a good rank on this. I'm here. I wasn't even supposed to be doing this. I did it for the achievement, so. Oh, I remember this now. As long as we stay alive here, I think we got it. Yes. Four years later, I came back to beach again. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I expected. I don't really care for my rank. We definitely didn't do this for rank, but apparently I did pretty good. And we got an A. Yeah, definitely to answer uh, Sans in chat. I definitely recommend checking out the original game. But uh, it doesn't show it. I hit, just hit it today, 1500 gamer score. So, beat the entire yeah, main game and DLC, but I did not 100% the DLC. I guess the best way to see what our percentage is real quick is to exit the title. Bear with me a sec. So I think to get 100% on the DLC, you have to beat every boss on Expert. I've done one of six already on the DLC. 
because I had to get the S rank expert level achievement and it's still 57%. So let's uh, let's go hop into it. Just gotta take a nice stroll down to the boat. So I'm done my main my main plan for this game, but uh, mixing viewership and enjoying this game, I'm gonna stick it out and go for the DLC expert. I will not be going for a specific grade. I will be doing this with the genie. So we're gonna be cheap and get the genie's extra HP. So I could care less what my rank is. I just want to beat him on expert. This is our current DLC status. Answer, answer uh, live a Z if I'm saying that right. Unfortunately, I'm just running a private session here. Answer Tiger Henry. I've been technically playing the DLC the whole time. I was just working on DLC achievements. So uh, for the nine HP, it recommends going back to King Dice. So that's why I was back there. Yeah, it can definitely be confusing. I can see how uh, me being in the base game boss. I, I went to the back to the base game for quite a few achievements, but uh, you can see here. Everything's at least an A rank, all done on expert or passive for the base game. So we did. So I'm no S rank, you know, expert runner on every single boss like some players out there. But for a general, just general gamer, I'd say I did pretty dang good. So uh, we have to run Glumstone, Moonshine, Howling. Sorry, not Howling Aces. I completed S, you know, grade with uh, expert. That was last stream. We got that achievement. So it's Glumstone, Moonshine, War Timer, Esther, and Chef Salt Baker. This is gonna be intense. Aggravating, whatever it might be, it's expert. That's what it's gonna be. You don't have to guess it, but uh, I kind of want to use this chalice for this. To be totally honest. I'll keep the crack shot. I'll keep this. We'll take this because it gives us an extra HP. Technically, we get a uh, nine HP with that. The astral cookie. <laughs> Uh, to answer chat I've already done everything to answer sans man I uh, did all I did the seeker fight and all that already that was more than one stream ago I think yeah the answer J smoke I just gotta beat it on uh, expert no s ranks needed for I don't think you need s ranks for 100% I'm not gonna go for it if that's the case but this is one of our uh, more popular games I streamed in the last while so I'm willing to uh, try a little bit extra as in keep it around a little bit longer than I was planning, but we shall see what happens. Oh, the, the, I'm so confused. Did the uh, genie not work? I initially was trying to use this boss for S rank. I got too close to them. Of course not. I pressed Y there, by the way. I'm gonna do this to get the extra HP. We're probably gonna fail this run. It's fine. It's gonna take more than one run than most of these. It is on extra difficulty, so. Feeling we're, what the hell? I thought I did the genie trip or trick. I don't know why my health was so low. Maybe on expert you can't use the genie trick, or am I wrong? Not to enable. That is strange. I guess on expert you don't get the extra HP. Hardest boss in this live stream. We didn't fight anyone overly top this difficult today, to be honest. I think the bishop from the uh, gauntlets who screwed me over the most today took me out quite a few times. We 
wish I got some parries there, but... Stage one. Fix my headset real quick. Sorry if you hear it. This is the secret I used, the tactic I used when I did it. When I beat this initially. It's not flawless, as you can see. But if you get the right spot, you can kind of just relay damage the entire time. That extra HP going. God. Worst timing ever, right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Do we get the extra HP if I play as Cuphead? Should I be playing as Cuphead in this? I'm just curious. I'd rather get the parry HP and be able to build my HP up. Shout out to uh, Acid Piper, what's up? Thanks for the tip of day shit. I don't know if I'm gonna 400% the game. But I got my initial 200. I just clicked Y by accident to parry that because I just left Miss Chalice. Almost got myself injured then. And I got myself injured anyway. Restart. So I'm guessing, I guess you don't get the genie HP on Expert, There's, so I guess we don't get to use it. It's already applied, but it's not letting me use it, so it must not be allowed. I don't, I don't think I'm getting S ranks on all the bosses. That sounds insane. I'm sure someone out there will walk right through it, but it's not me. I call myself your average gamer. I play a lot of games. I've done a lot of high difficulty games. Halo 5 Legendary Solo, Andromeda Insanity, Cuphead, obviously. Bad mistakes now. That's going I need to play as Miss Chalice. I'm not comfortable with Cuphead anymore. I've been playing as her since we started the DLC, pretty much. I'm like so comfortable with her that I, I'm sorry Cuphead, but you need to just go away. <laughs> go away Cuphead. Feel much more comfortable with Miss Chalice's parry. She's definitely better for the DLC, hands down. It's not even a question in my mind. I had a lot more trouble beating these bosses with Cuphead than Miss Chalice. Of course, that guy climbed up and got me there. Taking stupid damage. A lot of people couldn't get past 106 percent. I don't know if that was just a bug or if that's uh, maybe they didn't do S ranks. That guy pops out of the ground a second I go down there for security reason. To feel safe for a sec. I thought we were gonna be able to use the extra HP, but uh would have made this a lot easier. We probably would have been done by now if I had that extra HP. We need to have more than one HP going into that section there. We're just not gonna get it. I'll keep trying, I'll keep trying. I've done everything I care to do in this game, as to get the full gamer score, but 
Part of me as a completionist wants to, uh, part of me wants to get to 200%, but doing S rank on all these just sounds ridiculous. I can't even lie. Done a lot of, a lot of tedious achievements and stuff in my day. That just sounds over the top. Of course the guy climbs up. It's gonna restart. So we gotta watch out for these guys down below. I don't know if they just leave this shot active the whole time, so it hits them as well. And eliminate the whole chance of me getting hit by them. Stupid part. Oh. Putting the damage on this part, the pressure, it's not that much more difficult than the normal one. There's just more people flying around. So it definitely adds the pressure on. Just need to maybe rework my strategy there. My strategy barely worked in the base game on that. So it's not really surprising. That was close to my head right there. damage too quick. Shout out to Sunky. Yeah, I'm running this on Expert right now because I already 100% of the achievements. So It's one of our more popular games I've streamed on this channel, so I decided to uh, try it out. did on the base game, but after that I was like, I don't know if I ever want to do that again. <laughs> ah! Oh god, oh god. Holy shit. I'm trying to keep all my HP for the second half because we obviously suck at the second half. Alright, we got through this. So my strategy, my old strategy was to just kind of stick around. If you get too close to them, you can easily get hit by the people crawling through the ground. You have to like shoot the people who are jumping, you have to shoot the people who are jumping out of the ground on you while shooting the boss. So it ends up being a lot of, uh, once in a blue moon like that, he'll hit you. But all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my strat. It's obviously not working. No, I went right into the ball. <laughs> Fuck, man. Right into it. Right into it. I really got to work on my strat in that part. That's that's literally the only reason I'm failing this. We've made it to that part with a decent amount of HP, but I drowned myself on that part.
being quiet because I'm just trying to ultra focus here. I booked this game all afternoon today, even though we got done earlier than planned on what I actually cared to do. So eventually I'll take a break so I can calm down from frustration. Until then. So many crawling through the fucking ground. I really don't know what a good strategy would be for this part. I just, you can see in, in the left and right side of the screen, you can't see when they come through the ground because the crowd blocks it. I noticed that long ago, which really it makes it hard to sit in a good spot is what it does. And on expert, I swear it's like double the amount of uh, people jumping out of the ground at you. I'll catch up on uh, chat next next death next death. I don't want to leave you guys hanging too long. I'm not trying to be rude to people hanging out. Oh my gosh! I clicked wide to parry, but because I got hit by that, ah, that, I really that one hit cost me a parry. gonna die. Just gotta like, figure out what strategy is what what's gonna get me through this. Do I sit like right here and just move left and right based on who's coming through the ground and just focus on that. So that seems to be the possible strategy to get through that. It's really quick catch up on chat. Yeah, it's definitely challenging. Let's see. Shout to Lance. I don't think I'll be playing Sonic Frontiers to answer that. Shout to Christian. Yeah, expert's uh, a pain. I did expert on the base game, hence why I have a uh, full completion on gamer score. But I'm, like skeptical to put myself through it again. But we're here. <laughs> I was skeptical to do it again, but here we are. <laughs> Best way to sum it up. But being a small channel, yeah, this is what people want to see. I'll keep it going. I was thinking about playing something different soon, like Bioshock or Masters or something, but I will consider our options. I don't know if I'll go for 200% if it's true that you need S rank on every boss in the game, the DLC, but would I be willing to try and beat it on Expert? Sure. I ain't promising nothing on anything higher than that, though. As in, S ranks. It was bad enough to get the S rank I got on, uh, for the achievement. Up. 
Oh, how far did we get that time? We are almost done. Shout out to DK. Shout out to uh, Don Armine, if I'm saying that right. If I'm butchering it, I'm sorry. Of course that guy popped up. I'm just gonna restart. That was uh, not damage I should be taking that early on. If we want any chance of beating this, we need as much HP going into the second section of the fight as possible. No, 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 no! Ah. That part of the expert is so easy to mess you over. I gotta start rolling. I rarely use the invincible roll, but it might be time to uh, bring it out. That was close. Thought I was gonna hit. All right, so, you know what? Come here, light hole. Go send me with little fireballs. Get your cheap shots in. Shout out to Sand. What is up? We have a mod J smoking chat. I don't think he can keep up with the uh, the numbers, but he's trying. <laughs> We're used to that small channel life around here. All right. We're getting sloppy here. I haven't been playing for almost two hours, so it's bound to catch up with me. Just gotta take a second. Seriously, man. Seriously. Ah. The flock is literally almost past, and I get pushed up. Oh, the invisible roll didn't even work. Come on, man. That's some foo bar, sir. damage this run. I kind of get too sloppy here. Oh yeah, the, those geese are annoying as hell to answer chat. Shout out to Patrick. There's no achievement for the plane level, if I'm not mistaken, the answer chat, because uh, I have all the achievements unlocked already. 9 HP, King's Gauntlet, S rank on a stage, defeat a boss without killing any minions, obtain uh, A rank or higher, defeat a boss with Miss Child Super Art, 10 boss with Miss Child, obtain a great power, defeat a boss with poor friends, new weapon, defeat a boss, survive the nightmare, complete your quest on Inkwall, you know, Inkwall 4, defeat every boss in Inkwall 4, defeat the King of Games champions, no achievement like that for reference, if that's what you're asking. Answer GK, uh, I don't play Super Smash Bros. Unfortunately. Yeah, I'll keep trying to answer J Smoke. I promise today is Cuphead, so we're going to keep trying Expert. And uh, Teradin, if I'm saying that right, yeah, I'm playing on Expert. I initially was planning to try and get the S rank on this boss when I went for S rank, and then I realized I should do the dog on dog fight, and that's where I got S rank. It was a lot easier. Well, I'm not probably going to do S ranks in this game. I will at least try to uh, beat Expert if that's what everyone wants to see. I don't mind trying. Thankfully, I have a lot of leniency in our schedule these days. We don't have a lot of new games. Next game I pre order is probably COD Modern Warfare 2s. 
I'm a pretty all-around gamer. You'll see a lot of different games if you see, watch this channel long enough. As in a lot of different games. Racing, shooter games, the whole nine yards. Play pretty much everything. Next thing you know, we'll be streaming My Little Pony. I'm just kidding, obviously. Maybe if I needed an easy 1,000 gamer score. <laughs> Sometimes I do play stupid games for, for gamer score. Because I'm an achievement hunter as well. No matter where I go, I've yet to find like a great spot to be in. in this DLC. Honestly, probably the one I mentioned, Dog on Dog Fight. Because uh, while it has some difficult moments, you can learn them. It's much more learnable than the rest in a sense of like, this has a lot of vari you know, variables to it, so it's easy to make mistakes on this. It's easy to get parries too, but like these geese have screwed me over countless times now. I didn't even see that guy coming up to hit the hammer right as I was there. Just pointing that out. Oh my god, I clicked ah, I clicked B and then we got hit by it. Right as I clicked B. Well that was stupid. We we almost had full HP and I made a mistake. Oh. That's what experts all about, making a mistake. Play a lot of games, this is one game you gotta get on and realize you're gonna fail. Going to fail. Without question. Many times doing this, but okay. I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time, way too often. So gonna accept my fate. One HP, we're not getting anywhere. We barely put a dent in that. I don't know if I should use a different shooting. We can also try different bosses. We don't have to uh we don't have to beat this one first, if you know what I mean. Answer DK, negative. I play a lot of different games on this channel. This is just one of, you know, like 10 plus games I play in a given week. Which may sound like a lot, but that's how I kind of... I'm an all-around gamer, and instead of, you know, focusing on one game, it's most likely slow down our channel growth, for sure, but... I'd rather play a variety than, you know, play one game, for example. I, like, I can't imagine playing Warzone every day, and only Warzone, for example. Let's try a High Noon Hoopla on Expert. I'm probably going to mess up. Let's try it. A lot faster pace than the normal mode. There's a lot more stuff going on. Yep. So if you get stuck on a boss, the way I view it, you gotta it's always good to move on to someone else. Like we got halfway through this fight. We don't have to fight, you know, in a specific order. I can do this in any order I please. My intention was to actually not go for expert, but we have a pretty big fan base and people who will wanna stop by and watch it, so I'll absolutely do it. I don't know how much I can more I can take before I take a break. I plan to play all afternoon, but I'm definitely taking like a 30 minute intermission at some point. The only downside of intermissions is eventually people uh, you lose people hanging out. 
you get the idea. So we'll see. I'll keep playing a bit longer. Eventually, I'm gonna need to grab myself some coffee or something. Gosh, I keep I keep doing that. Keep doing that. Restart. Gotta be more aware of my surroundings. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. I'm being salt baker answer casual. Answer chat, I don't think I've ever played a game made by a fan, to be honest. I usually play a lot of mainstream stuff, some side stuff. And nice on the S ranks. A great slam and then no. I don't know if I have the patience to do S rank on them all to answer chat, I just don't know. I enjoy a challenge in a game, but. I'm not even sure, do you actually even get anything? I know if you beat S rank, don't you get like a gold Miss Chalice, but you have to do it with Miss Chalice or something? But you have to beat every boss in the game or something? As in main game too? Right. Let's try this again. I've seen a few videos of people who uh, S rank like all the bosses. And they'll like speed run it. But you you have to learn this game inside out. Like there's no just you know hopped on this and S rank this shit. You're spending hours and hours just practicing, practicing, practicing. Just like anything else. Oh my God, come on, bro! They really threw dynamite as I'm dealing with this too. That was that was. It was bad enough with one of them acti activated. Or we're, we're gonna fail. When I take a break, I might uh, do some research. I won't lie about it. What I could do is I can Google. Uh, but Google exactly, you know. Look up some of the ways to get through some of these expert fights. It'll be easier. See if there's like a recommended loadout. Stuff like that. I haven't played any Sonic games in forever. One of my, uh, someone who joined me once when we did an in-person session beat Sonic on our stream just like all the way through. It was pretty cool, but that was like years ago. Shout out to Theodore Roosevelt. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. And, uh, have fun in biology class to answer Sunky. Nice in the coffee. 
A great slam at that stop. Here goes. Okay. I really would like to get some coffee eventually. That's why I hate the small channel. It's always best to keep it going when well, we have a nice day like today, viewership-wise. But I also have to... Uh, can't let my performance degrade itself to the point that yeah, it turns the video into shit. So I definitely want to get myself some coffee eventually. So far it's been a pretty decent day. I got a lot done. Maybe not everything I had planned for work earlier, but good enough. I'll try and get it done later or tomorrow. Wow. I was trying to dodge those dynamites and that coin flew in from off the screen and smashed me. We're done. Shout out to Jay Money, what is up? A great slam in there ain't no raid going on here, man. Just chilling on Cuphead. Man, small channel life, man. I'll have a stream where, you know, we'll be happy to get like 30 views. And then we play games like Cuphead, GTA Trilogy, Remastered and stuff. The views can go off the chart. I'm starting Forza Horizon 5 tomorrow. That was one of our more popular games that I streamed. Then Cuphead, GTA was a San Andreas Defend Edition, and like Forza were like our most popular streams in the last few years, count wise. So Forza returns tomorrow. Hopefully, the Hot Wheels DLC is good. I don't know why the hell they made another Hot Wheels DLC, but what can you do? Definitely getting sloppy here. I've been playing for over two hours. Gosh. Way too much damage, way too much damage. I think I got raided last stream, actually, to just throw it out there. It was like the Mugman Army or something, whatever they called themselves, showed up. And it was a bunch of people like Mugman, Miss Chalice. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't expect it. They just started showing up out of nowhere. They were getting all the Mugmen ready because I was on the Salt. Yeah, I was on the Salt Baker, and uh, Mugman offered to help out by bringing his army, so they showed up. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was pretty cool. I mean, I'm just stupid mistakes. I mean, way too many little mistakes that are costing me. Oh my gosh, it threw me into the worst spot ever. So Chad, uh, I've definitely gotten pissed off today already. It was more so with the achievements. I was working on the uh, two achievements. One for 9 HP and one for defeating the King's Gauntlet, both of which I should have gotten before today, but they, they were buggy, so they didn't unlock. So I spent like the first hour and a half unlocking those achievements that I should have already had, which was just frustrating. Especially because I kept making dumb mistakes on the uh, King's Gauntlet way too many times. So we're just redoing it, redoing it, redoing it. I feel like it's even worse when one, you've beaten it already and you should have got the achievement and you're going back through and you keep making dumb mistakes. It's definitely uh, piss off worthy. Just heard my doorbell, hopefully it was an audible on stream, but uh, Electro Vaults I think went to get it, so good. No idea what the heck we're getting delivered, but I am getting a gaming desk uh, arriving supposedly tomorrow, so. Uh, of course. i take a sip of this tea real quick. Oh, 
Interesting to know that the answer DK. Apparently we've had over 1,400 views on this stream. As a small channel, we're lucky to get like 5% of that. So that's greatly appreciated. Getting hit by little things that I gotta, I gotta figure out. If we can hold our HP for at least two of the sections of the boss fight, we could probably do it. The final section is a nightmare though, and I can only imagine it's worse considering what we're working on now. Stakes are really annoying. No, 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 I saw that at the last second. I saw it the last second. Yeah, that there's some. Shout out the Russian Galaxy. What is up? If I butcher anyone's name, you can please let me know. It's always good to learn a, a new name. Does not hurt. I'm gonna make this my last attempt before an intermission break, guys, because I'm just, I'm playing sloppy. I feel like with a break, I can come back and play a little bit better. This allows myself to, uh, if I need a coffee or something, I can grab a quick uh, shot of cold brew or something. And just defrustrate. We've been grinding this for over two hours now. We officially 100% of the achievements. Now just you know, doing this for fun. If enough people want me to continue Cuphead on the channel beyond this, I absolutely will. What uh, set some new goals though, like trying to get at least expert done. But we're, we're just. We're not in the zone. When we peaked is when I was in the zone. We, uh. We're down on the views a little bit. Appreciate the 30 likes. Apparently 1500 views, which is pretty cool. As much as I hate to do it though, I'm uh, ready for an intermission break. It's just, uh, it's better for me, better for you guys as well. I don't think anyone wants to sit here and watch me fail a bunch of times, so it's best off that we do that. But uh, shout out to DK, Rochelle, Ibrahim, Sunky, let's see, I'm just scrolling out the list. J Money, J Smoke, and Theodore Roosevelt even stopped by. I mean, geez. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Sayed, uh, if I'm saying that right. Teradin, Ait San, a lot of people. Patrick. Don Armin, Golden Dandelion, Two-Tailed Sponge, Christian, Lance, Acid Piper, geez, Tiger Henry, Audacious, 
Sands, if I didn't say that already. Livesey, nothing. Cagney, Cashel, dot, dot, dot. You get the idea. A lot, a lot of people stop by, posting in chat. Definitely appreciate it. Yeah, it's definitely a uh, frustrating game. I'm going to quickly uh, go through our supporter screen, and we're going to go into intermission. Again, I hate to disappoint, but I'm going to vanish off mic for up to a half hour here. But I am coming back for another two hours, so we're not done. For anyone who actually has interest to come back. If you don't, I definitely appreciate you stopping by. It was, it's greatly appreciated. Shout out to our mod J Smoke, all the way across our supporter screen, as well as Mains Food Reviews. Shout out to BBT and our Patreon membership. This list always changes. People only stay on it for a month unless they renew, so it's always changing, but I always greatly appreciate it. Intermission screen's going up. I'm going to post in chat right now. This is what's going to scare everybody off, but uh, TGS intermission starts now. Turning, I'm going to say, roughly 4 p.m. ET for two more hours. I'll extend today so we can go on till uh, 6 p.m. It was supposed to be 1 to 5.30 with intermission. I was 15 minutes late, but I'm going to add 15 minutes on the end. So, yeah, more after the break, pretty much, as Jay Smoke said in chat. I will not be here during the break, so if you post in chat, I'll get back to you afterwards. Otherwise, again, major thank you to everyone who watched. Greatly appreciate all the support, all the likes. If you really enjoyed and you want to come back for more streams, sub, check us out. I play a lot of different games on this channel. Today's Cuphead, tomorrow's Forza Horizon 5 DLC. Wednesday's usually PC, PvP, CSGO, uh, Halo Infinite. Thursday, we haven't decided yet. We're waiting for Star Citizen, if you heard of it, to have a patch because it's been broken. But uh, it's open-ended right now. I do Hell at Loose Insurgency, Arc Survival Evolved on Fridays. Uh, we have flexible scheduling Saturdays, so games are TBD, but I think we're going to do the Vanguard Shino Numa Zombies. And uh, Sunday, we've been working on Fable 2 for anyone who's in the old school games. So a lot, a lot, a lot of games. A lot of games. But uh, yeah, I'll be back after the intermission. Peace out.
Hey guys, Barry here from TGS, back from the intermission break, ready to continue on Cuphead DLC. Done the achievement hunting part, back to continue on some expert attempts, which have uh, been kicking my butt, but I'm going to keep trying. Greatly appreciate all the views we had. We had over 1,500 apparent views in the first half, which is amazing. We're a small channel, only 2.9k subs. So we're lucky to get like, you know, 30 to 100 in a day. So that's pretty dang awesome. Greatly appreciate it. This is technically part two of stream 24, and uh, we're just going to continue on where I left off. Perfect timing, I'm back on time. Had a minor technical difficulty for some reason. I was uh, I had to turn my controller back on. My console like power cycled, and I was worried the stream might get effed up. But fortunately enough, Streamlabs kept me alive, so uh, we didn't have to worry about it. Unlike Elgato, if I was using Elgato Game Capture, you know the nightmare that is. So the whole stream would have went down. Thankfully, with Streamlabs, if my console turns off by accident, we don't lose the stream. Good to know for future uh, reference. But I'm gonna go ahead do a uh, reintro, catch up on chat, and we'll get back in. So quickly as I can do it, plan for the day, we're going to play for about two hours, 4 to 6 p.m. ET, and that's it. Plan for the game, my main plan was to get all the achievements we did. We've uh, unlocked every achievement in the base game and the DLC. But now we're just doing expert runs for fun, mostly, you know, as well for our uh, fans who enjoyed the playing. I'm going to keep it going for you guys. I've considered moving on the Bioshock or Mastered soon, but uh, I'll consider extending this game if that's what people want to see. You know, it won't be in the world of summertime, so I have a lot of uh, flexibility of when we can start whatever game we want to do, but for now, it's going to be Cuphead, so that's that. Like, sub, link, subscription. If you're interested in our schedule, I covered the first five minutes. It's on our Discord, on our website, but tomorrow is uh, Forza Horizon 5 Hot Wheels DLC releases, so we'll be there. I'll be there with our uh, mod night, so that should be pretty cool. Otherwise, it's not much else to it. We can pretty much just get going. I'm just uh, scrolling through chat real quick back to when I posted the intermission break. Most so our mod J Smoke's still there. He's uh, modding chat, but he had to take a call or something, so he'll be here soon. The TGS stands for the Gamer Society. If Ibrahim's still here, I'm not sure. Shout out to Teresa, Teradin. Uh, yeah, I speak English, a little bit of Italian, but primarily English. I live on the uh, East Coast U.S., so no problem answering that. I answered a few questions in chat. I've already completed all the achievements answered chat, so I don't really have any more to go. And obviously answer the other question. I'm playing Cuphead and the DLC, so I have it. And uh, yeah, I was on break. Let's see, I'm just trying to quickly scroll through because I want to catch up in case anything worth posting. Um, people were asking what phone I use, but I have an iPhone. Uh, sorry to hear that. Teresa got sick. Hopefully feel better. That's pretty much it. I think Terry didn't still here, so appreciate it. Let's see, yeah, you just tagged me at the bottom there. I was on break as the screen showed and as I posted in chat, so uh, I was unable to respond at the time, but we played for 2 hours 15 minutes, uh, so I took my uh, usual middle day intermission. I'm not like some streamers like to go, you know, 6 hours non-stop. I prefer more of like a 2 hour, take a break, 2 hour kind of setup. We're too small of a channel to consider expanding our hours anyway. If anything, I should be going down on hours. But, I try to stream as much as I can on my free time. I'm on stream, so. Uh, so the best way to sum it up, we didn't complete anything since we started doing the expert runs other than uh, Howling Aces, which was last stream. We tried Glumstone the Giant. I made it to almost the end of the second of three stages and then I kept dying there, so I moved on and tried to come down here and tackle Esther Winchester, I think that is right here. Esther, yeah, Winchester, that's it. And uh, High Noon Hoopla. We got to the final stage once so far, but uh, the final stage is just, it's definitely difficult, so. We're playing one of the hardest games I've ever played on the hardest difficulty going to be difficult. That's legit. The definition of Cuphead, even on simple, it's not truly simple. But uh, it's definitely, obviously, very manageable and simple. Regular is even beatable. That's what I did for my entire base playthroughs. If anyone has anything to say or wants to shout out, anything like that, post in chat. Otherwise, I'm just going to get started. Don't uh, dilly-dally here. Appreciate the 35 likes, by the way. This is my warm-up round. We're getting back into it, so just give me some time to get situated. It's 
fine. That's fine. Just came back after a break. Definitely not going to be my best run of the day. <laughs> my worst run of the day. All right. Let's try again. This is a game I have to like completely redo my mindset. I hop on this game, that game. I'll have high expectations. Stuff like that. And then uh, this game, you can't really have high expectations. You got to just roll with the fact that you're going to fail. It's got to be part of the experience. You're going to fail. So your best goal is to do what you're supposed to do in real life. Just learn from your mistakes in your gameplay. And eventually, you get through it. There's so much going on that this is insane. Oh, come on, you did you have to throw that now? You a-hole. Ah. He had to drop that. He had to drop it. It's already bad enough with all the stuff flying around. Then you have dynamite too. Oh shit. That was close. Oh come on. We're gonna fail this run, but that's okay. It's our warm-up run. Or warm-up runs per se. Hit him quick. Ah. I knew once we got low HP, it was over, but. Those stakes are just ridiculous. They don't have anywhere to go. restart. Anytime we take too many hits in the first stage, we should just restart. Shout out to Acid Piper, welcome back, and welcome back to our mod J Smoke. Oh gosh. Ah, man. As much as I know that I have to be mentally prepared to lose a bunch of times, it's still frustrating. <laughs> what can you do? I like to frustrate myself a lot these days, so tomorrow's gonna be a nice break playing Forza. It's mostly not frustrating. Sometimes it can be though, especially as an achievement hunter. We've been there, done that. And Wednesday we get our uh, PvP day going. First of two PBT days, at least. Okay, I don't know why. I meant to click Y. We would have hit that missile. It's like this part's ridiculous. How are you gonna hit the missile though? It converges on itself. So while the missile's forcing you forward because it's a moving object, we have to somehow navigate a bunch of you know dancing wieners on the screen. Literally, that's what's happening right now. And uh, some prairie dogs. <laughs> oh god, 100% beef sausages. That's for sure. Let's run that again. Let's run again. I'll uh, catch up on chat next time I fail or succeed, whatever it might be. It's impossible for me to keep up with chat while we're active in uh, quote unquote combat here. Feeling good though, feeling good. My vibes are good. You can call your focus your vibes, you just refer to it as vibes. If you have a bad vibe day, everything goes wrong. You get that like 0.7 KD. In a game, they usually get like a 1.5 average. Do that all the time. Not all the time, but it happens. I don't know how I avoided anything right there. Alrighty. That was just pure luck. 
I'm not gonna say that was skill, that was pure for luck. God, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Right now, I'm just doing expert uh, fights to answer Acid Piper. My plan was just to get the gamer score, which I've completed, but uh, due to viewership on this game and just enjoying Cuphead in general, I decided to try the DLC on Expert. So that, that's legit what's going on now. Cuphead in a heat wave in chat. I'm good. I'm having a heat wave right now. It's uh, I don't know if you're where you're located, but it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit where I live. We have fans. Uh, my fan base is from like Western U.S. all the way into Eastern Europe, so quite a worldwide fan base. It's pretty awesome. I think everywhere except Antarctica has put views on this channel. I don't know who that was watching YouTube in Antarctica. Maybe some aliens or something. Ah, no. It was going so well. It was going so well. Opportunity. feeling about this run, but it's fine. Except, we took too much damage. That's the problem. Doesn't mean we can't beat it. Some boss fights I never thought I would beat, I beat with like 1 HP. But we're really messing up now. There's a good hit. Yep, yep. Those steaks are ridiculous. I don't mind a steak dinner, but not a steak to the face. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> but isn't that just what happened? That thing just, ah, oh, it shot. It looked like it was biting me. I'm not even lying. It was shooting out of its mouth at me, but it, it little looked like it was trying to bite me for a sec. I thought I got bit by it. I was like, really? Throwing dynamites while I have nowhere to go. It's like a setup. Gonna restart. Too much damage. A brawl is truly brewing. And begin. Yeah, this is uh, everything on experts. Pretty much difficult, except uh, like I said, dog on dog fight. I think it took me under an hour to uh, learn it on expert and beat it. Very reasonable. That's the one I S ranked for the achievement. So. All that was last week. an opportunity there. Well, gotta focus on not dying over getting parries for sure. No, 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 no. Oh, ho. I got circled. I forced my brain to remember to use that command more often. Yep, so. I think we made it to the third stage before it collapsed there. And uh, yeah, I got the I got all the achievements to enter uh, chat. As of today, I've officially completed all the achievements in this DLC. That's why I was saying that was that was like my goal for this game, was just to get all the achievements. But uh, I'm a streamer who usually follows what I want to play, not so much what the views tell me to play. 
I'm trying to uh, adapt it a little bit. So my plan was to uh, just get 1500 gamer score on this and move on, but a lot of people have been watching these playthroughs and streams of Cuphead, so I figured why not produce some more Cuphead. So here we are doing Expert. Otherwise, it would have been done for the day. I don't know what I would have played, but I probably would have switched games if it was uh, following our traditional path. But I really enjoy this game as well, so it's a mixture of both. It's a great game, except I'm really messing up right now. I'm just going to die on purpose. Here's a real high -class if we continue this, it'll be uh, next Monday, or maybe Tuesday. I haven't decided how next week's going to work yet. Wait and see how far it goes tomorrow. Time to get ultra focused. Let me try again. See what happens is you focus on so much going on the screen. You're trying to avoid one thing. You get focused on it, and something else uh, you, know, you don't catch until it's hitting you, hit you from another angle. It's probably my weakness on this level. I'll be trying to avoid one thing, and then the other thing will sneak up because you're trying to avoid it once so really trying, if you know what I mean. Right in the stake. Ah, oh, I hate that. They catch up with you. I'm, I'm messing it up. They have such a good run, too. I hate this part. This part's really hard. Oh, the little pepper. No. <laughs> the little pepper right there in the top left spinning. My dad. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if it's guaranteed, man. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Ah, I got hit by a parryable. It was way too, I, I couldn't react in time. It's way too close of a shot. Try too much, uh, I'm doing like a two HP loss restart. Shot to Leanne in chat. And it is very difficult, for sure. But I ain't giving up. We'll keep trying, at least until I'm out of time for today. Gosh dang it. Of course I got hit by something I thought I would just keep playing. It's gonna just restart, but. Before I get hit by that gold one, I'll shift into that. Ah, oh, I barely missed it. Ah, oh, come on. Second he shot that out, I knew it was over. Good day for well I'm 
far from pro to answer chat, but uh, I appreciate the comment. It means I'm not doing too shabby. I'm definitely far from the best Cuphead player. I can guarantee that. I've seen some really amazing Cuphead players. You just would at, you'd probably do this without taking damage S rank on like for you know, speed runs in like 20 minutes. Those are the ridiculous uh, good players. I got cornered there. God, we were at the end. We were at the end. Ah oh, man. Can't believe I can't believe we fell that close. That close. Here's a real high class This game gets your heart flowing. For real. Make a game. This game will make your uh give someone a heart attack. <laughs> Alright, retry. Too early of a hit. You'll see my headset as well. hits too early on it's all about having that extra hp for the final section if i can somehow by miracle get through the first three stages without taking damage that's what we have to do to succeed in a most guaranteed form just getting a pie because well, good thing i got a pie to avoid the other stuff because Yes, there it is. There it is. I think that last wish of luck there in chat was the uh, we'll push it over. Yes, 
no S rank, but... A minus, I'll take, I'll take. No complaints there. That was intense. Shout to uh, Goopy. That was difficult. Yeah, because the heart pumping, but uh, yeah, now we have Howling Aces and Esther completed. Do you have to do Chef Salt Baker on hard? Why is there no checkbox next to him? Oh, well. But uh, we gotta do Glumstone, Moonshine Mob, and Freeze. Uh, freeze, I had a lot of trouble with the second part. But maybe let's try them first, because. I remember this one pretty well. Not an expert, so uh, I definitely appreciate it. If we didn't take as much damage, we could have had the S class, but I'm not gonna. I'm not going for S currently. Just trying to beat expert in general, so we'll keep trying. Another four to go, so I you know, don't even think it's gonna be possible to uh, do it today, as I'm no uh, crazy expert Cuphead player. But we'll keep trying. We'll keep trying. God. It's way crazier already. Oh god. So apparently an expert, you don't even get space. I'm 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 just doing terrible right now, yep. There's this is way more crazy. But it's a lot shorter on this expert, if I'm not mistaken. We got pretty far on it, but it's extremely difficult. It's gonna take a few runs to get used to that. The goal is going to be to not take damage on this part. That's going to be key. And of course we did. Just retry. Here's a real high class bout. Gonna save all HP for the second and third parts. No, 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 why did, why did I try to click Y right into them? That was a terrible idea. I realized it before it was even, it was over. We gotta try to stop avoiding being right underneath him when he drops them. opportunity there, but that's all right.
Oh, come on, I know where to go. This is really difficult. There's, re there's like nowhere to go half the time. Gotta figure out where to be. It's easy to be in the wrong place at the wrong time on these boss fights. One thing I noticed about Cuphead. First time we made it there. We didn't make it halfway, but it's a lot faster and there's a lot more going on than my uh, regular mode. Yeah, I feel like the no damage regular in this first phase is important to my run, because as you can see, the rest of it can easily eat your life, or your HP, I should say. Ah, I'm restarting. I, I clicked Y, but of course, uh, and I held to the right, but if your character is facing the wrong way, doesn't always uh, follow your commands, so something I noticed a while ago. It got me killed a few times. I still allow it to get me hit, apparently. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. Greatly appreciate the viewership, by the way. Of course, we took that in. Cornered myself there. I'm just going to keep going. Practice will get us through this. Shout out to Chuck. Not Chuck E. Cheese. But uh, right now I'm just doing expert runs right now. Just trying to uh, beat the bosses on expert. Literally is the goal right now. But we're being very sloppy. It's not going to help our chances of winning. Well, we're going to die pretty quickly here. Everything is so much faster. There's more shots going on. The eye shoots quicker. This map will get red hot. And begin. Ah, I jumped right into him. Here's a real high class bout. Here goes. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. This map will get red hot. You're up. Second time I landed on one of those. I just can't get the distance. Ah, come on. Why do I keep doing that? I'm just gonna keep going. 
One HP is gonna be my limit for damage, though. If I lose more than one HP on the first section, we just gotta restart. So, right. That's exactly what. <laughs> So easy to get cornered. Here's a real high class bout. You're up. Check chat real quick. Yeah, the cone attack, uh, definitely not easy. I've tried that before, Mr. X. Definitely uh, can work, but definitely get you killed as well, from my experience. All right, let's continue on. Take damage, that's all that matters. No, oh, of course, I jumped into him. perfectly jump into it. I was guaranteeing it by just making a bad jump. I've uh, A ranked all the bosses in the DLC to answer chat, but I, uh, I've only S ranked one of them on Expert. I'm not going for S rank, so it's just, uh, I play a lot of different games. Of course, I mess up there, but uh, I'm just going to restart. Long story short, I play a lot of different games, so I just yeah. don't want to dedicate the time and effort to do something like that. It would take a lot of time and a lot of runs. And Expert Salt Baker is probably uh, ridiculous. Man, for anyone who might just be tuning in, I've already completed the entire DLC as in all achievements, so... I'm here just doing Expert Runs, just trying to uh, check it out. Just to do some extra, but... I guess I'm making bad mistakes. Got cornered there. Oh, of course I went right into him. All right, I'm just gonna retry. That's way too sloppy. I didn't jump because the fin popsicle was right there.
sustain too much damage, but I'm gonna keep going. try because I uh, took that way too early on. Then we got porno bot spam and chat anyway. Hide user on channel. Goodbye bot. Let's give it a second. Yeah, pretty much there's so many uh, things thrown at you. Yeah, the invincibility roll could also be an option. I always forget about it because I uh, barely ever used it. But it, has, it does come in handy in special parts of certain boss fights. Not all of them. Oh my god. I'm using a uh, Elite 2 controller, I swear gosh. I dropped it like once or twice maybe and it's like... I know my LB button's been annoying lately. I gotta see if I got a warranty or something. Go claim that crap. Should not be breaking that easily. I tried to click Y to get past it real fast, but that was our, probably our best run so far. I just got to get used to that final section. I completely, uh, I got to remember to use the invincibility roll. What the hell, man? I clicked. I literally told it to dash. I just sat there. Try again. stream anyway so plenty of time if enough people want me to come back to continue this next week I will my initial plan was to move on the Bioshock or Master but I mean to play that for the summer was my uh, my summer game per se I was gonna try 1k Bioshock or Master 
It's gonna be an awesome game to stream. Starting tomorrow, I'll start grinding out uh, Forza Horizon 5 Hot Wheels achievements, and then I'm also working on Vanguard Sheena Numa Zombies. I'm gonna try and 1K uh, COD Vanguard, even though I was disappointed with it, because the achievements aren't that hard from what I see, what I have left. Easier than this, that's for sure. I dashed for that, but it threw me right into the uh, blade. Shout out to uh, Such Mouse. What is up? Hopefully everyone's having a good day. On. Stop taking stupid hits. Speaking to myself. <laughs> Dang it, Bear, what are you doing? Not allowed. I've grown I've grown extra patient with it. Usually I get pretty pissed off if I'm like doing high difficulty stuff over and over and over, as we all know how frustrating it is, but I'm just like comfortable with the fact that this is gonna take forever now. Eventually we'll surely get it. We don't know when. I'm just gonna take that one round where everything works out in my favor. It all comes down to. So close. Yes, there it is. Not a good grade, but expert. Gonna be like a B. Not a guest on the dot. I'll take it, I'll take a B. Three. So we did, uh, for those who missed out earlier, I showed everything. I did everything on Expert. I have all like A's, S's, P's on the base game. But uh, we're here now on this. I'm not going for S ranks, but I'm going for Expert. So Glumstone and Moonshine Mob. I'll try Moonshine Mob. Glumstone pisses me off because uh, that middle part with him throwing the balls and all the dudes crawling out of the ground just gets me like every time. It's gonna take me quite a few attempts to get used to again, so just bear with me.
probably gonna fail right off the bat, but. Yeah. So there's more bombs. The rest is not as pressure, but there's definitely dudes showing up more out on like, so they come from both sides now when they, when he calls them the other, uh, you know, moonshiners. And I've been watching this show called Boardwalk Empire. I'm on like season four now. I've been watching it for like half a year. So I watch like two episodes a week. There's like 12 per season. Long story short, this totally reminds me of that vibe because it's like a uh, 19, yeah, earlier 1900s, like Prohibition era, you know, Moonshiner type of show. It's really, yeah, I really like it. If you're in the mob movies and stuff like that, it's great. I'm glad I decided to watch it. God, oh God, oh my God, I can't believe we cornered ourselves. We got so close to done. Shout out to Maxwell, what is up? For our first run of that, I'd say we did pretty damn well. So let's just keep it up. Let's focus on uh, perfecting my mistakes. Most of my mistakes happen towards the end there. So they're not bothersome. I'm about to just keep these two tiers clear. Thank <laughs> you. 
didn't mean to do that. I meant to, uh... That was one of my best uh, S rank runs, I think. Well, not S rank possible, but probably not. That's pretty cool to answer, chat. Yeah, I didn't get any parries, so far from an S rank. The parries were my flaw. But again, we're going for just beating on expert. We're not going for uh, S rank, so. Clumpstone the Giant. Here we come, man. I hate you, but let's get over with. I don't think the spin gives you anything from the, ge the genie. An expert. Hasn't been working, but, uh... Yeah, to answer, Chad. It's Clumpstone and then the Salt Baker. Let's, uh... I still have an hour to go. Let's hope for the best. Good run, though. Good day for us. Well I to learn how to get through that, and that'll be our key to success here. Yeah, that was stupid. I didn't parry it. Let's go back through. Appreciate the 38 likes, and it says literally on the back of the YouTube that we have almost 2K views today. Greatly appreciate it. The final boss I gotta beat before doing the salt baker on expert, I guess. I don't know if you can even. I don't know if you do the secret boss, like if you pick a difficulty or if it's just one difficulty for all or what. I don't remember. Gotta not make dumb mistakes, so we need to save all of our health and the protection for the second half that we can. After the stream, I'm gonna go get some exercise in, so be able to let out the frustrations of today. <laughs> I definitely had fun, so it's not that I didn't. Just a very difficult game. Definitely can push your buttons, per se. That was a stupid hit, but I'm going to continue on.
Really? We're like basically done. There's no way I'm surviving the second half, but was it the second uh, phase, but let's just do it anyway. to restry. Got a little bit sloppy there, but I was just focused on saving myself after I got sloppy there. So. Timing it really bad, that's on me. Yep. My timing's really bad in that part. I, I really gotta figure out like the secret to that part and that's our key to success. So the final part we just gotta parry to stay and just avoid stuff. Cuphead parry, which is double eight, tap, double tap A there, but completely messed that up. Invincible roll, but we still got hit. Shout out to Leo and chat. What is up? Even if you invincible roll, you have to actually clear it. Come on, really gonna take two damage right there? Because of one 
Those fucking geese things, man. Yeah, the geese is like one of the most painful parts of this fight. It always catches you off guard and you're always in the wrong position at the wrong time when they show up. It's like so hard to avoid them. And I didn't realize at the beginning I was going to get whacked with a hammer. <laughs> it was like instantaneous whack. He's like, hello. You didn't even get the chance to know you exist. Teach a lesson about playing cup. Answer Jason. I mean, I, I can run along during the on the ground, but I have to like perfectly time it to run like left to right or right to left entirety, in entirety. So it's, like, it's not the easiest thing to accomplish. There's already so much going on. That's one of the problems with this. There's so much going on. So many different things happening. It's hard. You gotta like balance everything. I hate when I do that, when I'm going for the parry, but then I go the same way as the item, and I get myself stuck, because I can't like turn around and parry quick enough to save myself from getting damaged. Come on. We're so close to a heart. Yeah, that's the problem with it. I have to like you have to like run the entire length of it or you're gonna take damage during the geese fight. But it's it's not a bad idea by all means. Just like you have to be prepared in the right spot at the right time. through that the puppet parts definitely yeah the puppet hearts more difficult than the geese for sure the geese is more just a it's just a mere little portion of this fall first section which with the right weapon is really not that hard with the wrong weapon it can be very difficult as i know from experience i was trying to do this with all different other types of setups and this is hands down the best setup i've had for this On Jay Smoke's advice there, and run across the bottom. Hell yeah, Jay Smoke, that was it, bro. I'm gonna get over here and start dealing damage immediately. Oh my god, stop taking damage! Get the fin health up. First time getting to the third stage, but we're at 1 HP, so good luck to me. I don't have a good feeling about this at all. Alright, well, let's at least experience how difficult it is. Fucking kidding me, Cuphead. Did the game really just apply an extra heart to save me 
and just fucking killed me anyway while I had 2 HP in technicality. The game just fucking killed me when I had 2 HP. We just used the heart. It was It's on the screen floating. Are you joking me, Cuphead Studio? Are you guys for real? I literally have an active fucking extra health floating in the background on the right side of this thing they have blocking my view. No lie. It is right there. It is right there. The game just fucking middle fingered me right there. That's messed up, man. That was a be that was gonna be the run if we got that fucking heart. That was it. At least we made it there. We're done a uh, four out of six expert fight so far. Not S ranks or anything, but just general completion. Let's keep it going. Fucking ah, the little dude came up there with a stupid ass hammer, so I had to move, and then I fell below. But then if I jump up, I jump right into a bunch of damn geese. So I was like. I was completely trapped for a second there. Well, thankfully we used that because we got hit like a moment later. It really hit me. I've done that like a hundred times and not been hit once. Of course I get hit. Doesn't mean the round's over. It all depends how many times I take hits here. If I take too many hits here, then obviously not gonna go well. see him because he's behind the fucking uh, stands. I'm not going to give up. We, we had it in the bag. It's just a factor of uh, it didn't register my second health. So long story short, we have to try again. I can't believe, I really can't believe the game didn't register that I had 2 HP because I used that extra health. That was such a slap to the face. That was that was a run. It might not have been no S rank run, but that was probably a winning run if we would have gotten that extra health because we wouldn't have died touching the liquid. Hence, we would have still been alive to have another chance. Oh, well, what can you do? I let out all my frustrations in uh, doing some weights and some home pedal biking later. forgot about the ball there. I accept my fate. I was so focused on not getting hit by the dudes crawling out of the ground, I got hit by the other one. Applied now before I get hit by something. I can't. I missed the parry. Oh well, we still got four HP. Right into the ball. Right into the ball. 
I'm really, I, I really suck at this part. I gotta like work on my strat, big time. There's nowhere I could go. We keep getting so close. We're getting so close. This will be a five out of six experts if we just get through this. So I got to keep fighting. We need to hold as much health as possible, though. We, we need to go into the end with, like, two HP plus an a shield. The game did screw me, though. We we had, we applied a second heart, and it didn't give it to me that the first time we made it to the final section. And if it did, I would have had it, because we were over halfway done or close to halfway done getting a... Uh, through the final section of this fight. The game legitimately didn't give me the heart. We could see the extra heart floating on the screen, but it didn't apply it to me in time. So it was like getting flipped off. Otherwise, we would have been on the Chef Salt Baker by now, which is going to be probably the hardest. I can only imagine, at least. Best run so far, knock on wood. expert done that was a pretty good run I don't know how we're gonna do on a uh, ranking but I'm not going for S ranks might have got it high A or an S A plus so close Chef Salt Baker, that's it, guys. That's it.
I'm, sc I'm kind of scared. This one's going to be ridiculous. I'm going to fail so many times. We have like 40 minutes left, so I want to get off for today. Probably going to fail a few times, but that's okay. Expect. We got to like see what it's like on each stage before we'll probably get a successful run. I have no idea what to expect on Expert. It took quite a few attempts just to beat it on uh, non-Expert, so this is absolutely crazy right now. We're already going to lose all our health. I barely got into this. I wish I could win first try to answer chat. We, we got over halfway through the whole fight though on the first try. So let's just keep keep focus and keep it going. This is the last fight I need to do on uh, Expert. I don't know, I don't think the Angel Devil one has a difficulty rating, but if it does, I'll have to go back to it. I don't remember if it does, to be honest. But it doesn't show up, it's a secret fight, so I don't know. But we're losing way too much health, but the only way I'm gonna learn is by failing a few times, so just keep this going. Now we retry. If we can keep enough HP into the second portion, the second portion is easier than the first as long as I play it smart. But between the fire coming down, increased amount of you know projectiles flying around at me, it's definitely uh, gonna take me a few runs to get used to. I was hoping it was gonna shoot the animal crackers. Sometimes you parry and you just get thrown into stuff and it sucks because there goes 2 HP because I parried. Yeah, to answer chat, 2-3 uh, HP sounds about right. if I get the extra heart going. Especially if I get all five cards again, I'll technically, like that just protecting me, if you have two of them, you can just call the second one in the second you uh, need it. I I'm just being sloppy here. Man, the parry sometimes can get you in trouble, for sure. Oh my gosh, there was nowhere to go. Let's restart. <laughs> it's just a dead end. fires, not just one shooting down from above, which makes this definitely a little bit harder. That will explain why there's two in the, uh... I'm not willing to take damage this early on, so if we are, I'm just going to retry. So we're not going to beat it if we take too much damage early on.
One damage, okay. Two, no. We need at least two to three going in, like uh, chat mentions. This is ridiculous. They throw like two, three things at you at a time. There's just too much going on. <laughs> like, there's nowhere to go. There's absolutely nowhere to go. You're literally just cornered half the time. There's nowhere to go. You can't go left. You can't go right. You can't go up. You obviously can't go through the ground. So where do you go? Right in the bunch of stuff. You see this? What? Where does it expect me to go? It's cray cray. The faster we get past these, the better. Because on top of a bunch of freaking cubes and limes being thrown at me, we got these really annoying fireballs that follow you around. Like take a second to sit still to like uh, shoot. Right, I'm gonna take a second to check chat. Yeah, this bolt is salty. He's an a-hole, man. He's gonna pay for this. Shout to Roblox and friends. And another shout to Leo. Thanks for hanging out. And obviously shout to anyone else who's hanging out, not posting the chat. Greatly appreciate the views and the hanging out. We're a small channel, so we're never this busy, like ever. But I've had uh, some of our most popular live streams in the last, like, half year, which is really cool. I did, uh, before this, I was doing San Andreas Definitive Edition. I did a 100% slash 1K playthrough, so very thorough. Hold at least two HP going into the next stage, it'd be nice. So close. Yeah, I'll give a thumbs up for science answer chat. Actually went to uh, engineering school. So I'm not young, but I'm not old. Two personal cybersecurity and uh, electrical engineering. So I'll back your science team. Technically, science is why we have Cuphead. None of this would exist without us. Computer science, software engineering, electrical engineering, component engineering. A lot of stuff going into making these games come to action. So. If you enjoy games, you gotta support science. There's 
nowhere to go. Come on, man. I hate when they do that to you. This game has a knack for just literally throwing you in a spot where you cannot escape. You can't do anything. Like, I swear, some of these boss fights come down to like partial luck. You just gotta be lucky sometimes on where you're standing. You can constantly be in the wrong place at the wrong time in this game. We're gonna lose, but I guess I'll keep trying. It's gonna take me a really, really good first uh, round. I'm gonna catch up on chat again very, very soon, guys. Next time I fail, we'll succeed. I will take a moment. Nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. Ah. There's legit just stuff everywhere. It's not even like feasible to pretend that I can actually es escape that. I swear to gosh, it, it, this dude is like partially just like there's luck in the equation. You can have all the skill in the world, you're not gonna get out of that fucking cornering where you're surrounded on all like on three sides by a bunch of objects that you can't avoid. Shout out to Pikachu. Uh, yeah, I never noticed all the knives on the table in the background. I do want to point that out. He's a murderer, man. <laughs> Look at Mugman. This guy's like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre dude of the Cuphead universe. Instead of, you know, put him in the fridge or whatever, he puts him in a, uh, a little jar in the background. Look, he doesn't look happy. He's getting tortured back there. We'll get you, Mugman. Cuphead. Whoever you are, Cuphead. <laughs> Had to double check. I don't know why I walked right in that restart. A shout out to Cuphead in chat. We need your help, Cuphead. I'm on the final expert uh, fight of the day. If we beat it, we beat all everything on expert at least once. Maybe not all S ranks, but we'll beat it all once, which will be sweet. There's nowhere to go, man. There's literally nowhere to go. Ah. This is so frustrating because you, you like, it's like, I swear, just a huge luck component to this fight. You can have all the skill, but if you constantly get thrown in the wrong spot at the wrong time, it's not going to mean jack shit. There's just so many variables in this equation. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, I'm just not going to say anything. Oh, I jinxed it. We're gonna have at least two HP going into the second part, we might have a chance. Uh, it's <laughs> like, I can't even like take it seriously. It's just absolutely absurd. It was bad enough on regular difficulty. I why, but I went the wrong way, so that was not good. Oh my God. We died.
see your chair real quick. <laughs> I like your cuphead. I'm sorry you're trapped over there. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, you never would have known a uh, chef salt baker. He's a devil. So. We know the truth, Chef Salt Baker. We know the truth. because I'm trying, really trying to focus here. This is like the last fight I need to have expert on the entire game, which would be quite the feat. Right. That's just absurd. I have three objects on my left side and like one on my right. I don't know where the hell it expects me to go, but there's nowhere to go. We gotta just try to avoid getting in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's like key to this. Stupid damage take because I had a heart, but and then we lost the heart right away. So much for that. F you, fire! Seriously, f you. There's like nowhere else to go. Nowhere to go except to get hit and die. This game is brutal. It gives you, n it's no mercy on this game. It's like we already got enough with these. We don't need the, uh, the damn limes flying in too. <laughs> Seriously, man, this is ridiculous. Are you f kidding me? They really melted me like that? That's such horseshit. That's just a big pile of horseshit. That's all that was. Honestly, Chef Saltbaker is just a big pile of horseshit. <laughs> I played every boss in this entire game in DLC on Expert at this point, except him. This is like the most ridiculous fight that they added on Expert, period. I don't remember spending as much time on this as anything else. This dude is just complete bull. There's just too many things going on at once to make it a reasonable battle. It's like when you see those sweaty ass, you know, Super Mario levels that people make that are just like ridiculously insane for anybody who normally plays the game. Like 0.1% of people can beat them. It's not that bad, but that's, that's kind of the vibes you get from this. This is ridiculous. And fuck you, Fire. Seriously, I was about to parry that. My goal is to get the five cards as quick as possible because we get that health protection. We need to just get health protection the entire time. Look, even when you, you're avoiding the limes, the fire gets you. To answer Chad, I've already did the secret boss, man. I know people are in and out. I think I've had like five, 50 people say that today. <laughs> 
I've already done the secret boss fight. I don't know if the secret boss fight has expert though. So if it does, then yes, I do. I will have one more, I guess, to do. I have no idea if it's just a boss fight on regular or what it is, but I already did it. I already have the entire achievements done for this DLC. I'm strictly here just for fun. Which is not really fun in Chef Salt Baker. It's more of a challenge than fun. An insane challenge, nonetheless. Ah, these fires are so annoying. They're all they're always there when you ha when you feel safe for a second. They're there to ruin it, to throw away your entire you know safety net. It's like their job. I'm just focused on getting the expert ranks, and from my knowledge, I only have to do it for the six bosses, not the uh, angel devil ones. We beat that last week, though. We uh, finished out the DLC last week, first playthrough on regular. Come on, bro. I clicked the B button, but I didn't press it hard enough, so I didn't get it in time. We would have avoided losing any HP there. But I literally clicked it a second late. Or I, click, I clicked it, but I didn't press it hard enough. I, like, tapped it at a weird angle. Come on. Give me a fan chance. All right, this game really doesn't want me to have a chance. It's just going to take two damage right off the bat. Not even give me a chance to exist. That furthest we made it so far. Ow. I forget this part's like. Oh, this is with the hearts, isn't it? Cuphead for like four fucking hours. I'm just, it's like being tortured for four hours and then getting effed over in the final portion when I'm so close to done. Come on, man. This game just is fucking ridiculous. I love it, but it's absolutely absurd. I played like games back, been playing games since like SNES. I tell you right now, this is tougher than like half the games we thought we were possible back then. It's like that makes them look easy. That was so close. Major L. Peace out to Leo. Before try to speak English so I can understand your message. It's YouTube uh, slacks on giving us a translator, if you understand me at all. Google owns YouTube. Google has a translator. Why the hell don't we have access to the translator on YouTube chat? I'll never understand. But that's how... Uh, Big companies work these days. They leave out simple logic. Too surprised. It's like it's an international platform. Do us a favor and just add translation. 
You pick the language you're in and it translates it for you. Back and forth. That's way you can actually talk to people around the world. Oh my god, who would have thought of that idea? Need one of those, we just need a smooth run again. That was a horrible attempt to parry. Shout out to Springo. We made it to the final stage of the fight, so it's, it's a sign that we're getting there. We're not there yet, though. That, that was an example of one of the parries that can screw you over. The parries really, really help when I get them without getting damage because, uh, in the long run, I don't know why I even jumped there. In the long run, I get the uh, protection heart quicker. So if I do take damage, we don't actually take HP loss. Nowhere to go, guy. You can see this. Like, there's this game just literally corners the fucking shit out of you. What am I supposed to do? There's nowhere I can go in that point in time. It's not like I can go invincible and just vanish off the game board. Exactly what I deserve. We lost way too much HP. Let's not even pretend. We can't even like pretend that we were doing alright there. We gotta accept it and move on. Need to do much better than that if we want to succeed at this. We can't be going in with one HP to the end and while what you know wonder why we lose. Right, well, again, nowhere to go. Restart. Yeah, an expert, this is uh, ridiculous. This is the last one I have to do an expert unless the secret boss has an expert level, which I don't even know if it does. I don't remember having a difficulty select on the, the secret boss, but I could be wrong. That was difficult without even needing to have a difficulty, so I wouldn't even want to dare to try it anyway. Two, two HP is like the minimum I want to go into. If we lose one more HP, I'm just restarting. No question. Restart. Chat real quick. I think we're all caught up. Come on, there's nothing I can do. That is so agitating. Pure luck, there's nothing you can do there. You're just cornered. Let's restart. I don't wanna try on this run anymore. Way too much damage. I wanna try to get to the next stage with at least three HP. I'm trying to avoid parrying, but if it's an open opportunity, I'll take it. 
I'm trying to, I'm gonna start focusing strictly on survival. Like right there, for example, it, it saves me too. so agitating. There's nowhere to go. I can only imagine the people who made this game just be like, you know where to go? Nowhere. <laughs> There's nowhere to go. Literally. Tried to, I knew he was gonna jump, so I tried to parry and like go through. But we're gonna lose anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Don't really have to finish it to know. Every time I've made it is because we get one run that just doesn't, not everything combines together to just set you up for failure. Once in a blue moon, you get a run where you can actually survive. But it's three things going on at once at all times is just insane. Especially with this guy's tactics. It's not like the other people. Secret boss is like an angel versus devil kind of deal. I recommend looking it up. I don't plan to do it today, but uh, I believe I did that last stream, two streams ago. If I would have parried that, that would have saved my fucking life. That's why I'm against the theory of just not parrying. That parry would have been my getting my health, so I wouldn't have died. Sometimes it costs you to lose a health, so you gotta be very, you know, questionable about which ones you actually go for. Then, of course, the fire had to drop right then and there at that exact moment in time. I fucking hate those fires with a passion. It's the corniest part of this whole fight. Because they just, they drop in while you're supposedly blocking all, you know, avoiding, not blocking, you know, all this other stuff going on. A great the rest is easy. Just leave the fire out and you'd actually be able to do it. The fire is what throws you off because it comes in at all different angles. It doesn't have a rhythm. It just does its own thing. I was about to say, I don't know how the fuck I didn't get hit through all that, but I jinxed it by thinking about it. Get that applied now. We seriously took damage while we're waiting for him to grab us. You really don't like me, Cuphead. You really don't like me. Nowhere to go! There's. I'm surrounded by fire, floating fucking balls, and leaves. There's like nowhere to go when you get cornered. It's ridiculous. Every direction you're just gonna get hit.
There comes the fireball again. We've gotten so close one time. If we didn't mess up, we would have had it. I, that's the worst kind of run. When you make it to the end, then you would have had it, but like one little mistake that you shouldn't have made cost the entire run. That's been like half of today in a nutshell. Again, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. We'll just pretend that we had a chance at all. All right, starting over. Again, where am I supposed to go? Maybe in like 15 attempts, we'll finally get a run where we can actually survive. Just bear with me. Avoid all that, and they hit me with a fire. Whoever made this has to know that this was built to just piss people off. Might as well call him Chef Pissoff. Pretty much what he is. breakdown and spool of moon for the week. That pretty much sums up Cuphead in a nutshell. That's like a great definition of what Cuphead is. Thankfully it won't spoil my week, but I could definitely uh, do that if someone's that hardcore into it. I'm off to play Forza Horizon 5 DLC tomorrow, the Hot Wheels expansion. I uh, 1K the original games as in Forza Horizon 5, so going back to start the DLC tomorrow, become a weekly part of our channel, but I finished out Cuphead for 1500 gamer score today as in the whole DLC is done. I did everything that the developers wanted to see in achievements, but I'm just doing expert for fun. Plus, because uh, we have a lot of people who've been enjoying the playthrough, so I'm uh, extending it due to what's going on. So usually, we're, we're small channel life. We usually don't have a busy time like this, so it's pretty cool. The goal of this is just not let it piss you off and just keep trying, keep trying. Eventually, equation will align if you give it enough time. So far, it hasn't. We did it for the other five bosses. We uh, did four out of five on Expert today. The last one was last week. The first one, I mean, that I did. Dog on dog fight. That fire, man. Give that fire is ridiculous. Stop hitting me. Give me a fin chance. Just, just let me exist for a few minutes without getting pummeled by a fucking fireball from the sky. There's already enough going on. It would be bad enough with just one of them. Of course there's two of them. Three hundred and fiftieth attempt. Sorry for all the restarts, guys, but I gotta keep trying. Appreciate the sub. I saw we got quite a few subs today. I greatly appreciate it. I stream a lot of different stuff on this channel, so Cuphead's yeah, just one of those games. If you're into pretty much a lot of different games, shooters, racing. I play a little bit of everything. Best way to sum up this channel. This is an all around gamer.
Oh, come on, the fire fell right on me. Oh, come on, we're doing so well. If we can get this one HP, we might have a chance, but if we don't, we're, we're effed. Of course, I lose it already. Well, it was a good run while it lasted. Well, that's what I get for trying to, to, to parry them, which is what I gotta do. Right into a fucking solid object that kills me. Uh, it was over the second I was down to one HP. I, I don't even have to like question that in my mind. I, I effed myself over at that portion. That portion usually feels easier than this, but I got sloppy. You really need to contain your health or you're just gonna lose. Go away, animal crackers. You're just as annoying as these flames. so well then I got cornered which again this entire boss fights literally about getting cornered I'm trying to avoid it so I hear my headset I had to adjust it I'll land on the leaf. Moving on. Another ten. We have it in us, we just gotta get it. I wanted to get off at six o'clock, but I think we're past six o'clock, but I'm like so I'm trying to get this. I don't wanna give up. The problem is these fires follow you. I don't know why I'm not parrying those. I guess they're like an inch off above me or something. We're gonna lose again, so it is what it is. I clicked B! What? Ah! I wanna smash this controller, man. I literally clicked B, which was an extra fucking HP, but the game completely disregards it. The game already middle fingered me today because I clicked it, I showed the extra HP floating next to my character, and then it killed me anyway earlier today on one of the boss fights. It was such a middle finger. So if you're gonna activate a fucking function in the game, please activate it. Uh, I literally click the button. All you gotta do is follow the command. 2022, let's go, man, let's go. No squeezes. Shout out to Ace Jack, what is up? Yeah, this is hella frustrating. 
I've gotten close like two, three times now. But such a difficult fight. It's so easy to lose HP back to back to back to back. Now why'd I jump? I hate when you do that. I don't know why I jumped. I just like impulsively jumped right into a fucking injury. Well, there goes a 2 HP. I should just restart. I don't care if I'm getting the next stage. That is fucking stupid. No excuse for that. So I don't know why my brain thought I should jump when I shouldn't jump. trying. We shall see if I get it or not. You need a quicker retry button on a game that's difficult. You can just press start and click something else. You shouldn't have to select it on the menu. They, they should understand that you're going to retry this like 300 times. Because they made it to be this way. I fucking hate those fireballs, man. Can I please just have a moment where I can be safe from the fireball hitting me while there's already 300 other things going on? They're such a nuisance. And then look, nowhere to go. We're just gonna keep retrying until things align. I, you know, I'd rather retry 400 times and pretend that we have a chance with one HP. Because we don't have a chance. It's gotta be realistic. If we take damage that early, we're just going to retry every time. We already saw that I can make it to the end, but with 1 HP, we're not going to be able to do it. If we get multiple HP and a, uh, some health protection, we probably could do it. Fuck you, fire. Seriously, man. Come on. Those fires are such a nuisance. Ah! The round always goes so well till the fire intervenes, and then it always fucks you over. Obviously, that's his job. Can't imagine why else they added it in like that. Best run so far, let's not jinx it. I'm gonna focus, so I'll probably be ultra quiet here. There's too much going on, it's ridiculous. in the same predicament we're always in because I'm taking dumb damage. We might make it, but it doesn't mean we're going to win. I have two hearts, though. I have two hearts. This might be our highest HP yet. On uh, There goes one. <laughs> Motherfucker, man. It shows me having an extra heart. Why is it not registering the extra heart? Are you seeing this? The fuck are they doing over there at the studio, man? the second time today I have an extra heart floating next to me and it doesn't register it so I don't get the protection. Are you joking? I literally, I'm, I'm so bewildered right now. Did I not just have two extra hearts floating with me? I took two damage and I died. But that means I should have three HP. One HP plus two is three, correct? Or did I not understand how to add? That's just fucking FUBAR. If I've seen FUBAR, that's straight FUBAR. Peace out to Chad, thanks for stopping in. 
It's uh, you're about like seven hours ahead of me, so I definitely understand it's time for sleep. I shouldn't even be on right now. I should have gotten off a while ago. But I really wanted to finish this. This game really doesn't like me today. It's like it's middle fingering me when I blatantly use an ability that's meant for me to be able to use it. That was such an amazing run. That should have been it. Should have, would have, could have. I lose too much health on the second part. It feels easy, but it's not. There's just too many things going on. You're getting shot up by four different like salt dispensers. You have the other stuff going on. Shout out to Jennifer, and I, that's a funny comment. They sniffing something at the studio. <laughs> Honestly, probably. How insane this is. Probably gotta snort something to beat it, like for fuck's sake. Excuse the language, but this game is a game that will make you pissed. I'm not that pissed, but I'm frustrated. It's a good way to sum it up. We've, we've done so well so many few times. We got so close. We get so close or we get we have good vibes going on and I get hit by something I can't I have no control over not getting hit by. That's what this boss, I swear, is gonna be known for. Just getting you cornered is his job. Probably the toughest boss in the game. I think a lot of us can agree on that. Of course, the second I'm about to use my protection, we get cornered, and then I get... This game loves to fuck you over, it really does. I just got my protection, I just got it. I lose one HP and then I get hit immediately after using it. Why do you hate me so much, Cuphead? Like seriously, it, it was such an alignment, and then it just middle fingers me because my character stops for a second to, to grab his health, or her health. That's it, that's all it takes to ruin the run. Not even stuff you can control. Gotta love it. I double clicked A. Why didn't you jump? Gosh damn it, game. I literally double clicked A to double jump. And I took damage because she didn't double jump even though I double clicked A. This controller is really starting to piss me off if this controller is not responding properly. It's either the game or the controller. I'm gonna make a video of me smashing the shit out of it if it continues to cooperate. I'm gonna submit it for a warranty replacement. <laughs> but that's what you get. Make controllers at work. Gosh damn it. Especially because it's an Elite 2 controller. It should not be slacking. Cost a little an arm and a leg. say about this game anymore except of course welcome back to tangerine i really wanted to get off but i'm like so tempted to keep going i'm supposed to be exercising today but so much for that that's out the window now so we better beat it. Have to make it up Friday or something. Some other morning, who knows. We'll figure it out tomorrow. We're so close to beating it. Once I beat this boss, I'll uh, 
I'm not going to beat the Seeker boss, but I'll check if they have Expert. I don't think I have the patience in me to beat another boss if I need to today. Yep, guess who hits me? The fire. I'm already dodging like three things at once. So I had to add that in. That's not a Cuphead control to answer, chat. Ah, uh, for I use for Cuphead. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I thought you were saying there's a Cuphead controller. I was like, what? There might be. For all I know. Sounds cool. Here we come with the porno bots. Hiding user on channel. And quickly getting back in the action so I don't get killed trying to block the bot. Those bots are so annoying. They harassed me during my GTA San Andreas, Vice City, and uh, GTA 3 Definitive Edition playthroughs. I did all those for 1K Gamer Score slash 100%. And that those damn naked bots. That's all they did was show up all day. I bought J Smoke Nose because he would just sit there literally hiding bots all day long. It was crazy. So F off, bot. Nobody wants to watch your webcams, alright? Get out of here. I don't know how YouTube still allows them to thrive, because blatantly it's an issue for a long time now. It's like I, I can't imagine it's hard to shut down a bot who uses similar usernames every time. Especially words in the username that should be blocked in the first place. Facepalm 101. Kind of like this uh, gameplay here. Look, they made it back with a new account. So that's fine, keep showing up. I'll keep blocking you until you stop showing up. Sounds ridiculous, I don't know if it's true, but YouTube says we've had 2,500 views today. I greatly appreciate it. Small channel life, I'm lucky to see like 25 views in the afternoon of streaming something. You never know. Every game is different, every game, you know, this or that. Cuphead's definitely been one of my more popular playthroughs of 2022. Thing right next to San Andreas Definitive Edition, actually. statement that answer chat that's all that we can hit that quick I'm just gonna quick I hate to do it but I'm just gonna restart every time there, there's no point in pretending we have a chance of finishing if we get hit that like that Talk about being cornered.
a good run while lasting. Come on. How many hits are you going to get in a row game? Seriously. I just went for full health with protection. Why are the extra, why aren't the, ex this is so stupid guys, why aren't the extra hearts applying? There's a fucking floating extra life right next to me that should apply. But the game doesn't apply it, so I die. Is that a joke? Who's making games in 2022, man? I swear to God, these people just need to stop working these jobs. They obviously don't know what the hell they're doing. It doesn't matter what company it is, what game it is. Nobody knows what they're doing anymore. It's ridiculous. Literally two fucking extra hearts floating, and it's still floating next to me while I'm dead. What is the logic behind that? I, I literally want to know. Did no one test that? In all dead seriousness. That cost me the fucking run. Someone at, literally didn't test the game. There's no way that got overlooked. Yeah, the extra life's on vacation answer chat. Like, legit. Like, what the hell? Where is it? I earned it. Let me have it. That's so messed up. I didn't see many bugs in the actual, like, experience, just achievements. But that confirms that there's blatantly other problems in the game. It's like the fifth time today that I have extra life that should be applied to my HP, but they overlook it and I die. I'm not going to sit here and praise them for that. That's really stupid. Major L. Get y'all shit together, man. Make a great game, deliver on it, please. game's just a bunch of fucking... I don't even care at this point. Just die. Seriously, man. I had all that health mopped away in literally a second. What's more infuriating is still just the factor that I probably would have been on the final boss section if the game actually regarded the fact that I had extra HP. That I earned, again. I'm doing pirates. And just general shooting, but you get the idea. Definitely major uh, thumbs down on that. I was to just give up for the day and get off because I'm like already rude in my evening plan. Staying on this late. I don't know if it was worth it. This match will 
Yeah. We experted everything except this, unless the secret fight has expert. So that's the only reason I'm here, because we're so fucking close. But I'm like getting punished by the game for daring to even consider doing this. Good day for abuse. Where's the video game abuse hotline? <laughs> So if there's a video game that literally defines abuse, it's Cuphead. I might as well just rename it Domestic Abuse and call it it. Cuphead's a violent guy, you know? <laughs> Mugman knows well. God. Good day for well done. Here goes. I wanted to get away from the fire. I decided to click Y. I didn't need to click Y. We took damage. Restart. Parry something, get tossed in the air by the parry. Restart. Nowhere to go, restart. Come on, I keep taking stupid hits. It's so annoying because it cost me the entire run that one HP that I lose every single other time. I would have completed this day this by now if I would have had one HP left over. Actually, the game would have re respected the fact that I had extra HPs and it didn't give it to me. But regardless, that's probably the most infuriating part: the fact that I would have beat this by now, most likely if it actually applied my extra health. Well, I have like two floating hearts for extra HP that's supposed to take your damage and then you'll just die anyway. I don't I, I don't get it. There's got to be some kind of bug with having more than one. It's the only explanation for what's going on. Or bad coding. One, one of the two. Of course. I don't know if I'm hitting my limit for today on doing this or if I should keep going. I don't know if I have it in me anymore. We've been playing this for fucking, you know, like four hours and 45 minutes now, Cuphead. We uh, over five hours with the intermission break. Pressed Y to parry, but the game decided to completely neglect the fact that I clicked the Y button, so I take damage and three stars. Yeah, the stream clocks are like almost five hours and 20 minutes. That's what I'm saying, I'm not. I really want to finish this today because it'll be done. But I also don't want to sit here for eight hours, you know, doing the same salt bullshit, you know, fight. It's got to be the most bullshit fight in the entirety of Cuphead. It's like you can learn the other ones. This one, you can learn it, but you're just going to get cornered anyway by something, by just the general game. So there is luck. I guarantee that luck's in the equation. I'm not having much luck right now, apparently. Because we keep losing hell stupid ways.
That was a little bit of luck right there, but I jinxed it by mentioning it. Of course, we had to take a hit of damage. And two. Restart. A great Click B too early, so we just took damage for no reason. Oh well. I'm gonna stand here and accept my fate. There we go. No point in pretending that was going anywhere. This is just absurd. As someone who's beaten everything on this game on extra, on not an expert except this fight, this is just fucking absurd. Nothing even comes close to how ridiculous this is. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Nowhere to go, nowhere to go. Again, there's legit nowhere I can go. No move will keep me safe from that. It's so annoying. You can't do fucking shit except take damage. Like, please. Can I stop being cornered by objects that I cannot avoid? If I could, I would have beaten this by now. That, that's literally the only reason this boss fight is hard. It's because you get bullshitted in the little corner spots that you cannot avoid. No matter what direction maneuver you do, you're just gonna get fucking slammed. And that's the major, major difficulty on this. There's like four things going, five things going on at once right now. There's, there's multiple things going on. Like chill out, man. You have lime flying around, animal fire, fucking whatever else was flying around, strawberries or some shit. Like chill out, cuphead. Chill, chill, man. Take a chill pill. I'm not on cocaine. I, I can't just fucking beat this, all right? Good day for a well battle. Here goes. I didn't really have an option. We we're just gonna get cornered anyway, so except eventually I might just call it and try another day or something. Stupid. And then we walked right into that. What's up to chat to anyone tuning in? Fortunately, getting towards the end because I'm uh, hit my limit for how much cuphead abuse I can take today. I was able to expert everything but this, according to the list. But this has just been not working in my favor game that's design flaws to whatever it might be there's so many things working against me 
I still heavily think I might have won if the game recognized the extra health that I had. I had two extra health and it only recognized one of them. And it was such a major punch to the face because we were at the end. I hate these fucking strawberries. Because on top of the strawberries, he has like two, three other things going on. Times like these are then the reasons why you're like, why the fuck did I bother to do expert today? <laughs> it wasn't on my goals. I got my achievements. I officially 100% of the achievements on this. There's no reason to, to torture myself, but here we are. And now I'm stuck in a rut because I want to fucking beat it so bad at the same time. I'm like exhausted from gaming for five hours of Cuphead today. So when I get some food and Take it easy. Oh, we lost. It's in the wrong place, the wrong time, every time. Major disappointment if I don't get this done today, but I guess I'll accept my fate. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't even on my game plan to even do this in Expert, so I only do it because we had, had a lot of people hanging out. So. Shout out to uh, Tarmy Reaper, Gail, Erica Clark. I don't think changing the cuphead is going to help the answer chat. I've actually had to change him to Chalice on quite a few boss fights to make him easier because she's definitely a, feels like a better character. As much as I like cuphead, I didn't even bother with Mugman the whole first playthrough. Uh, I'm only going to make a few more attempts and I'm just going to get out of here. I'll consider maybe next week trying again. Of course. Why? There's too much going on. It's so unreasonable. I literally go to press B, but an animal cookie shows up and hits me. Just like instantly. The second I go to do it. Really, game? Now we have the stupid ass bot spam and chat again. are gonna die, but what can you do? Yep. Who would have ever thought a fucking leaf would kill somebody in a video game? I'm just saying, realistically. Literally a leaf. Must have a fucking bay leaf allergy or something, I don't know. Make like another attempt or two and I'm out of here. I'm also gonna check because these fucking bots are really annoying spamming our chat. 
Someone needs to like take the bot center down. Like if anyone can look up that IP and just you know send like a freaking attack, you'd be doing us all a favor. We don't want to watch your, you know, naked webcam spam. Stop spamming our chat. All right, this is probably my last attempt, guys. I wasn't planning to plan a whole other stream for this game, but we're probably going to need to. At least a two-hour session or something just to mop it up. Don't worry to answer chat, I already took care of it. Of course, I click Y to go for that because I was right next to it. Gets me damage. Right as I'm about to get a health too. I have such bad luck with this. And then and then the game leaves me right in the spot of the attack. Alright, I'm gonna get off. I I'm done. Red flag on this game, I'm out of here. It was a it was a decent day. Major, major disappointment that we couldn't get through that, but like holy shit man. If there's any reason to compare a broomstick closet to anything, it's Chef Salt Baker on Expert. Takes you in the broomstick closet and you don't know, yeah, you, you know the rest. <laughs> That's legit the experience I had for the last like hour, so I'm done. Hate to disappoint people, but I'm out of here. Greatly appreciate all the views, everyone hanging out. While this game really doesn't have a reason to come back on this channel ever again, I guess I'll come back on Expert for Chef Salt Baker at some point. I can't promise when our schedule's pretty booked out for this week. Maybe Saturday, but uh, yeah, tomorrow we get the Forza Horizon 5 DLC, so absolutely not going to consider swapping that out. That's one of our most popular games on this channel, but uh, we'll have to come back for Chef Salt Baker at some point. So, greatly appreciate the sub, and uh, that's that's pretty much all I have left in this game. So, we have all 42 out of 42, 1500 gamer score. It's done. It literally comes down to Chef Salt Baker. I don't even want to get off, but it's a factor. I'm just. I just, if I play for 15 more minutes and I really push my time and I like screw up my evening plans for this, I'm actually gonna get it. If I get, excuse me, if I get it, I can live with it. If I don't get it, I'm gonna be even more pissed off because I'm gonna be pissed off from Cuphead and then pissed off that uh, I have to update my plans and cram a bunch of work in later. A great One of those people that hates to give up, especially this close, but then I can, you know, stick around an extra hour or two. Just trying to do it, and then I'll regret it, especially if we don't get anywhere with it. Fire, man. Oh, come on, it was going so well. Of course I gotta time it right into a fucking animal cracker. Fuck, man. There goes the extra heart we gained, so much for that. Alright, I think this is just a sign I need a GTFO. Stupid as it sounds, we'll get back on just to do one single boss fight in the future. We'll have to 
come with more stuff to do in that stream for sure to make it worth doing. But of course, you jump right as I'm crossing. Of course. You Alright, I'm uh, I'm done guys, I'm done. A hundred hundred percent I'm done. I really, really hate the fact that I'm gonna have to stream this again just to do one bosses on expert, but yeah, we might as well just fucking do it. I just don't have the time to uh do it today. So real quick, shout out to our supporters, Jason McMahon's food reviews across the board, BBT on Patreon membership, appreciate the support. Hate to disappoint anybody who just tuned in, but I've been playing for over five hours, guys. I'm fried. We're just not going to get anywhere at this point. So best bet is for me to come back on another day when I can squeeze it in. I have flex spots on Thursday, Saturday afternoon. I highly doubt I'll do it on a weekend night. But uh, Thursday, Saturday afternoon, or like Monday of next week is probably the next time you'll see this. I play Cuphead Monday, Tuesdays, but with Forza coming on to, uh, starting tomorrow, we'll see what happens. I will catch you guys later. Major shout out to everyone who stopped by. You know, Erica, Termy Reaper. Naked bots. No, I'm just kidding on the bots. Jennifer, Ace Jack. Just trying to see who else. Uh, Armad J Smoke. He's not here anymore, though. Light Tick, if I missed you. Et cetera, et cetera. Sorry if I left anyone out, but uh, it's time for me to go. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.